Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and today we have a different uh, topic. Uh, before we start, we know we are going to go over some comment in the comment sections in the previous video and then we go from there. Uh, you know, yesterday we heard the news about uh, uh, a sister, her name is Harun, uh, Harun, Hatun, sorry, Hatun, Hatun. Uh, a comment here saying Christian Prince the stabbing of Hatun was not very known and confirmed etc you see many of you asked me to talk about it uh, but I want to say to you something will make you upset those people in the speaker corners they make me angry all those Christians there I mean, you know I'm not upset from Muslims to be Muslims I mean Muslim is a Muslim what do you expect when you follow uh, the guy he uh, he attacked her. Okay, he is following the step of Muhammad. Muhammad he split a woman two pieces when she's alive. So a coward he follow a coward and he act as a coward. So I'm not really surprised. But what I am not liking in this uh, old thing speaker corner. First of all, I'm against any Christian woman to be speaking to Muslim men, no matter where, even if there is like the most safe, secure place in the world. I believe this is none of your business. You want to speak, speak to women. This is number one. Number two, we know that this lady, she is small, she is tiny, she is a woman, short. I mean, she is like a bird between a bunch of cows. Go in there, make her the ease. This is why they don't attack anyone, they attack her. You see, they are cowards. So you know that you are going to be a target. And you keep going there, and those chickens around you, all of them, they are chicken. I mean, how this guy, he did beat her, and nobody even stopped the guy, or catch the guy. Oh, sister, are you okay? Give me a break. So all those people in the speaker corners, they make me really upset. I don't consider them, all of them, to be men. The Muslims and the Christians, for a very simple reason. I mean, I'm talking about those who were exist at that moment. A Muslim man, he, if he is a man, doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or not, if you are a man, you will not let somebody beat a woman. A Christian man who is there and he let somebody beat a woman, he is no Christian for me and he is not a man. As simple as that. So don't mention this story for me. She does not go there. Here we go. You know, the internet, you can make Muhammad, uh, you can rip him pieces. You do not need to go anywhere and you can get more audience. What this is Speaker Corner is about. So don't mention this story for me. And I don't want to hear about this speaker corner again. Okay, now, uh, we spoke about Sad Guru and uh, Zakir Naik in the previous video. CP Sad Guru said Mahavir, not Muhammad. Okay, no problem. We thought it's Muhammad. We corrected that. Mahavir is the founder of religion called Jainism, which is an uh, ethnic religion like Buddhism. Okay, no problem. Okay, let us see. Uh, I bet a Christian prince cannot stay without meat even for a single day. Hence, twist reality to great extent to justify his greed to say plant eat meat. Yes, they do eat. <laughs> But not by killing animals. <laughs> you know, the funny is that in your culture or your religion, when a, when a man, he die, you burn the women alive with the guy. But you are merciful with the chicken and the cow. It was the British and the missionary Christians who stopped such an evil practice. So give me a break about how, not by killing animals, you kill animals every day. Yes, you do. You know, who is the one who gave you the authority to use animals to carry your stuff? Who allow you to, get, to put the animal, the elephant in a chain? Is that killing the animal or not? Merciful boy. The abuse of animals in India is beyond imagination. 
But in the same time, those, you know, hypocrites who come here is trying to make comment. They try to present themselves as they are against killing animals. What is this? What is that? Especially elephants, they are very special animals, you know, they have a very, they are very emotional, they cry, they have, you know, what, what, so, oh, but let not by killing animals. Here you see the hypocrisy, and for us, we don't take a side if you are a Hindu or a Muslim or a Christian, doesn't matter, we say, if something wrong, we say it's wrong, right? I hope people, they understand. And if you don't understand, I don't care. You agree, you don't agree, I don't care, honestly. I, you know, I, I am not a person who is going to say things to you which make you, I mean, things you like to hear just because you like to hear it. That's not what I'm here for. That's why I make people angry, you know. So we don't uh, like to kill animals, but we like to capture them and put them in a chain and enslave them and we abuse them. Yeah, you know, we are very, very nice, you know, it's, you know, uh, all your life is based on abuse and killing. This is killing. This is actually worse than killing. Imagine you are a human and you did nothing. And there's an animal who is smarter than you. He captured you and he put a chain around your feet for no reason just because you are big and he want to carry wood on you he want to use you as a truck what is your mercy oh not by killing animal we don't eat them we kill them by chaining them shall i show you videos on youtube how they are beating the elephant how they are beating the monkeys how they are forcing them to do tricks just to make some pennies And the funny part, elephant is a is a lord. Uh, yeah, is God. <laughs> he's a he's God. And <laughs> yeah. So you know, don't be upset from me. I say things as it is. Uh, Abdul Rahim saying, Bible says that pork is forbidden to eat, yet you do. Why? Very simple. Because the Bible forgive the pork for for a reason. It was a, for a health reason. You know, pigs they grow in the field and they eat anything including dead bodies you know pigs today they are not feeded the human being unless you throw a human being in front of him and he's dead so there is a reason and the reason is a health reason and actually still the reason is exist but jesus because he is wise he is above just normally human being average understanding of things he said clearly that is it is not what go inside your mouth make you dirty it's what come from your mouth so when the bible speak about forbidding food for you it's not about you getting being dirty it's about you being unhealthy and it's not you know they are trying to save the community it's a jewish community and they don't want disease to spread as simple as that but food is not going to make you a dirty person. So when we saw a video yesterday, uh, or two days before, between Zakir Naik and uh, the, the fan of uh, Sad Guru, and the topic is, our food is better than your food. I mean, how silly, how shallow, both of you. So now you want to prove to the well, Muslims, they want to prove to the Hindus that the religion is better than them because they eat meat. And the Hindus want to prove to the Muslims that they have better religion because they eat falafel. I mean, have you, have you ever seen how, how such a shallow stupidity? So this is what makes your religion both good. Do you see the stupidity? And both of them, they start lying to each other and nobody want to share the truth. The truth is that a human being is born drinking milk and milk is not a vegetation. It's not. So even nature, even the elephant, you make him God. When he is born, he drink milk. Even the cat, even the rat, 
milk the first food for a baby it doesn't matter what baby it is it's a human it's an animal it doesn't matter so that to prove in you that you are a stupid and you are just looking for fictions so why God did not make the women instead of giving milk give a cucumber in her nipples as long as it's more healthy are you saying that God is a stupid he designed you wrong people are you following with me Whoever your God is, I don't care. You worship tomato, potato, Buddha, Muhammad, I don't know, I don't care. Do you believe your God designed you in the wrong way? Why your mommy, she don't give salad from her nipples? Because salad is the right food for you. So you are one day old baby now and you put your mouth in her nipples, what you get? A mix of lotus, cucumber, tomato, olive oil, uh, lemon. I mean, that will be tasty. I don't mind. But as I think, my mom and your mom, they did not give us this when we were babies. They gave us milk, and milk is not a vegetation. So what I heat, I uh, sorry, what I heat, yeah, I heat up to heat. I let me let us heat it up. I hate is stupidity. And whatever food you want to eat, go and eat poo poo. That will not make you good or bad. What if somebody eat poo poo? Uh, actually, all human beings they eat poo poo. All of you, you eat it. Like, okay, you know, uh, vegetation. They eat uh, poo poo. They love poo poo. The best fertilizer for vegetation is poo poo. They go crazy. Just go through around your tomato or potato or whatever. Throw some poo poo of uh, the bird or a human being or animal. They, they love it. Like yum yum. This is their cake. If you are a, a person who been ever in a village, like in the village, you know, they let their kids without diver, you know, they, they, they play in the yard without diver. So the kid, he'd make poo, poo You will see the chicken fighting over his poo, poo It's like cake time. Uh, so, you know, uh, Hinduism for me is a kind of a fiction like the fiction of Muhammad, but it's different level of fictions. You know, a fiction of a plane with words, a claim in decency, in the same time, decency is not there. Animal abuse, human abuse, women abuse, women, she is burned alive when the husband die. What is that? Where was the priest for centuries? What religion says that if a man he die, he take his wife with him. And we burn her alive but we don't kill animals what culture is that who divide a human being between uh, Brahma and low level and high level this is what India is about there's rich there's a Brahma there's holy people and there's trash people that is a shame So the religion trashing people, making them trash, and now they cannot even be considered from a high level. That's it, you're stuck there. The guy who his father do barber shop work, he have to be a barber shop for the rest of his life. The guy who collect garbage, he's born of a collect garbage family. The whole community is a collect garbage community. So you claim what makes you good is eating vegetation, but that will not impact really your reality in life where you abuse a human being by dividing people into rich and poor, dividing them by level, by the rank of jobs. And uh, the one from this level, he cannot marry from that level. And you know, this is a disgusting culture. And remember, I love, I love Indian people. I have a lot of respect for them. I, I never met an Indian person I did not like they're nice people so i'm not talking about indian now i'm talking about culture i'm talking about even belief which is a bad belief and actually this belief is going to be demolished sooner or later but now our topic is sad guru and zakir Mike. you see the, the the easiest way to find who is a businessman or not is to ask him a questions 
And the easiest way to find if a person he is a scholar or not is to put him in a stage to debate. Both of them, Zakir Naik and Sadhguru, they don't read debate. They don't. Why? Because in a debate you will find if a person is a smart or a donkey. But when he is the only smart guy in the stage, and I put the word smart between two brackets, and he is there to have light on him and to be praised, who is going to prove him wrong? Actually, Sadhguru is way more idiot than Zakir Naik. At least Zakir Naik, until now, he did not flag my video. Zach, Sadhguru, he flagged my video three times. Where is the guy who teach tolerance? Where is the guy who teach acceptance of others? Where is the guy who says we should accept each other? You know, you have your soul, I have mine. I mean, those are speeches in the in the stage. But now, let us see how long it's going to take before Sadhguru go to YouTube and file a, a, a copyright claim. Do you see how much tolerance he teach and he practice? In the stage, he says something. If you remember, we made a video before about this guy. A guy, he asked him a question about his organization. And he got him busted with the question, what's that guru, he said. He started making fun of him. Where is the tyrants of the wise man with the long beard? Right? What happened? You will notice that all them uh, look at this here. So a fan of Sadhguru is saying the following. You see here we will come people to say things about me. Not like Sadhguru, he don't accept people to say things against him. Babi Bibi said Sadhguru blocked you because you are idiot. Well, you see, you just proved to me that your guru is the idiot because he claimed to be a guru and he teach you that nobody should be blocked. And he spent his day teaching that, then he blocked me. <laughs> so you just proved to me that your guru is a turu. He's not a guru. Your guru remind me of the love guru in the movie. The, you know, the movie is about love guru, but it's about penis. And there's a huge difference between penis love and love. So your guru is giving us speeches about how nice we should be to each other. But then when I make a video about him, he go to YouTube complaining. What is the wisdom? What happened? You know, make a video, refute me. Aren't you the guru? You can get me busted in two seconds. He is a guru as long as there is nobody in front of him to get him busted. I will show you now an example of his stupidity. This is here. You see, businessmen, all of them, they share one thing. They never say a truthful opinion. They do politics. So the video here, and this is posted by Sadhguru organization. You see it? Sadhguru end. Sadhguru on Prophet Muhammad, time now, tight slap to left assist. This is a slap. Look, look how tolerant they are. They are very tolerant. They give a slap. Mm. Okay. How you slap the leftist? Let us see. So the TV host asked a sad guru a question about uh, Islam and Muslims and Prophet Muhammad specifically. Listen carefully. Earth is a mosque for me. Muhammad said, say Islam we talk about when we say Islam we talk about Muhammad Muhammad said whole earth is a mosque for me can you talk can you make a more inclusive statement than that see this is stupid idiot he is like Joe Biden when he was quoting Muhammad saying if you say something wrong it changed by your hand if you could not change it by your hand change it by your mouth if you could not change it by your mouth, change it by your heart. So he's asking the Muslims to invade India for all India has made a mosque for me. This guy, he doesn't understand what he's saying. He's a donkey. 
He's asking the Muslim to follow this quotation of Muhammad. And what is the quotation saying? That I am a prophet who been victorious by terror. And all the land is made a mosque for me, which means I'm going to take over all the land. I will make all the land Muslim land. So you see how your stupid guru, he is asking the Muslim to invade you, to do jihad against you. This is the hadith this idiot was quoting. Read it with me, Allah. The Prophet, he said, I have been. He was giving five things. I were uh, granted to me. Nobody have them before me. Okay, what are they? Every apostle was interpretatory to his own people, whereas I have sent to all the red and the black. Uh, and the black? Yeah. Red and black? Hmm. Take, take note of that because we go back later to it so we can laugh. And... <laughs> After the black, he said, and the spoil became awful for me. <laughs> because the black, they were his spoil. This is why he made them Muslims. They were never made lawful to anyone before me. Why, uh, Musa, you don't have a, a spoil of war, supposed to? How come you Muslim, you say, Musa, he have a war? How come you read for us from the book of Numbers? See the Muhammad, the liar? So nobody before you have a spoil of war? Oh, okay. And the earth have been made sacred and pure and mosque for me. You see it? This is sacred land for Muslims. So Muhammad's mission is to kill every single one who is not a Muslim. And the stupid guru, sad guru, is a sad guru. Perfect name. Coaching for you what Muhammad meant to do jihad and conquer your land. And right away Muhammad, he says, and I was victorious, and I took the land from a distance of one month journey by terror. You see the translation here is a false translation. In Arabic, he says, And I was victorious by terror from one month journey. So this is what the stupid sad guru is quoting for you and asking Muslim to follow the steps of Muhammad. Okay, now if we are a Muslim, we are going to follow this. Do you see how stupid this guru is? He's asking Muslim to invade India and to take all of India and make all of India a land of the, you know, Of Muhammad. That's what he's saying. Now look at the translation. And the enemy overwhelmed from a distance of which one take a one month cover. Look at the first translation. They don't want to use the word terror. Right? Abdul Rahim saying, didn't Jesus say he will come with the sword and kill everyone with the sword? No, Jesus, he did not say that, you donkey. Jesus said that when he come with the glory of his angels, everyone who rejected him, he will be slaughtered. That isn't a judgment day. That's not a war now. Don't you believe in judgment day, Abdul? Suddenly, Abdul, he don't believe in Judgment Day. Your God, Allah, will insert in your anus a chain made from iron. So it's better if Jesus kill you by the sword than being having, you know, something in your anus. Do you enjoy it? I think you are an anus guy. So this is about the Judgment Day. Jesus is speaking metaphorically that in the Judgment Day, he will come. He, his, his coming is not going to be the same as first time. The first time, he was just doing his best to make you accept him. Second time, he don't care if you accept or not, it's too late. He's coming as a judge. 
So here we notice that this sad guru is asking Muslim to invade India. If you copy this statement here and you post it again on the hadith section, you will see how Muslim they play with the translation as they wish. Look, the same hadith. Do you see what happened? It's the same one. I was made victory given to me by our by terror of frightening my enemies from a distance of one month journey. You see how nice Muhammad was? So when Hassad Guru he says such a thing. Right? Sad Guru says, if Jesus come back, who will, he will, uh, who will follow him? Everyone has bills to pay and job to go. This is what Sad Guru said. Well, this is just a stupid thing to say. Because who said to you that if Jesus, he come back, did Jesus promise you not to pay your bills? Obviously, this guy is an idiot. He is like Zachary Naik. He say things for his supporters, you know, they are Hindus, and they don't care what he say, insulting Jesus. Well, here we go, I follow Jesus, and I have pills to pay, and there's more than 3 billion human beings, or maybe less. They follow Jesus. For sure, many of them, they are fake Christians. But who said that if you follow Jesus, you don't pay your bill? Isn't it Jesus says, give to Caesar what to Caesar? Hey, Christians, isn't it Jesus, he said to the rabbi, not only he said to the normal people, the rabbi, he said to them, give to Jesus what to, sorry, give to Caesar what to Caesar? So who said that Jesus did not say, Jesus was not a, 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 not a fiction person, he was a person of reality. So this is a statement of an idiot who did not know anything about Christianity, it is the same as Muhammad. And the more you show me quotation of him, we laugh. You see, when you are in the stage and nobody there to get you busted, you are smart. Okay, I have an offer for those who support Sadhguru, not to the Hindus, because I don't think the Hindus, they, they believe in this guy. I think just a group, smaller group of young men and women, they like him. And I will tell you why in the coming video. I mean, we will, we have a video we will mention just in a minute. I have an offer for him. He is the genius, we are the fool. Can we talk? Can this, His Majesty give the poor me a 10 minute opportunity to talk to him? Let us see how smart he is. You will never do that. Because you are a genius when you are teaching idiots. When there's nobody to refute you or to oppose you. The question is, can you answer and refute somebody is debating your life about what you just said? All right. Now, another video. So the first video here, Sadhguru is asking Muslims to invade India and to make all of India a mosque for Muhammad. Good job, Sadhguru. He is quoting a hadith, speaking about terrorism promoting terrorism, Muhammad saying, I am victorious by terror, and the whole land made a, made a mosque for me. And the stupid guru, who called himself guru, he is quoting Muhammad, asking Muslim to follow Muhammad. Well, aren't they those who they are doing terrorism are following Muhammad too? When we say Islam, we talk about Muhammad. Muhammad said, whole earth is a mosque for me. Do you see? This is your guru. He is asking the Muslims to follow their Muhammad. Muhammad he kill, Muhammad he occupy, Muhammad he says, I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say shahada, until they pay the zakat, until they eat as we eat. So this stupid idiot is asking the Hindus to follow, uh, the Muslims to follow Muhammad. Okay, they do. 
can you talk, can you make a more inclusive statement than that? No, please cannot. let the Muslims live by that. Let the Muslim live by that. Did you hear it? Indian, did you hear it? Let the Muslims live by that. So why you are asking countries or government to arrest Zakir Naik? He is living by that. Stupidity is amazing. You see, I just yesterday, like because I saw the comment of some fan of this potato, and I promised him, come my coming video, I will get him more busted for you just because you are so angry. I want to make you more angry, just to show you how shallow you are. In the same channel, in the channel of sad guru, look how sad he is, youth and the truth. Look, 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 even the title there in the screen is youth and what truth. You remind me of Muhammad with your truth. Okay, youth and truth. The question is, and this is the title, let me show you. Sad guru answer, is it wrong to have sex before marriage? Remember, the title says, he answer. <laughs> you watch the video, there is no answer. This potato, after speaking for 10 minutes, to answer the question, he gave them no answer. Do you know what he said? Let me move it a little bit so you can laugh with me. So what the question, brother? I mean, this guy is no, no different from Zachary Naik. He's just a business making money. Look how he sit like a king, dressed nicely. Did you see his pictures in America dressing cowboy? Living in a nice palace? But he school you about how to help the poor? Hmm. Guru, we as students stay away from our homes, from the familial, emotional comforts. In terms of our careers, we move out seeking greener pastures. In that, we seek company in opposite sex. Some people get into relationships, which gradually progresses to physical intimacy. Sadhguru, the question is then why as generations, we cannot discuss it openly or is Premarital sex still a taboo. See, this is not some kind of a prescription. Uh, hold, hold the beard. Hold the beard and now he's grabbing the question. And look at this beard. He spent like two hours before he go live on TV to camp it. And then he, have, he make a fountain in the top of his head. Appearance is very important because you want to look like a guru. You know? And now he is grabbing the answer from the beard. The knowledge is coming. I'm not going to play the whole video, play it. You will die laughing. When you are getting to be, a, you know, a teenage hormone and, you know, and then any pump in the body will make you horny. Like, what? okay, what is the answer? So after talking for a long, long time, the answer, there's no answer. This is an individual need. This is an individual need. Can you believe it? Genius. I thought it's a group sex. I mean, he grabbed his, his beard to come to us with an answer saying, this is individual need. That's deep. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. This is individual need. What not it food individual need? Isn't it bathroom is individual need? Isn't it shower is individual need? I mean, what this guy is talking about? And no idiot is not individual because you cannot do it alone. You have, you have to have two. Continue. Right now, we must understand this. In this society, we handled human sexuality like this. Before a girl attains puberty, they are named. This is the boy you're going to marry at the age of six or seven. They don't marry. But they say, they keep telling him, your uncle's son, this guy, you're going to marry him. Look, 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 you see, he is now, he is taken away from the… Uh, your son, okay, so your father, your uncle, he says, we want to marry you when you grow up to this person. He's talking about the culture. After all of his talk, garbage talk, there's no answer. You're going to marry him. They're telling him, you're going to marry her. So they have not seen each other, they have not met each other, they have nothing going. But 
emotionally they're being bound. Before they... Hey, hold on, how this is happening, emotionally they are bound. If they never met, they never spoke to each other, they never know each other, then how they emotionally they are bound? I thought emotion is about emotion, which means I see you, you see me, and then we have reaction for that scene. Not you, somebody told me you will marry this person, and I do not know this person. But what does have to do with question, which is, can we have sex with you marriage? Nothing. Continue. They touch each other physically, they want them to be emotionally bound in a strong way. So this is the technique of the culture, how they dealt with it. So when you become or attain to your puberty, when your body blossoms into certain possibilities, now your emotions are already with somebody. So you handle your body, you don't go wild because your emotions are already attached to somebody. So by the time they are fifteen, sixteen, the girl gets married. By the time they are seventeen, eighteen, the boy gets married. They get into agriculture, or business or whatever, whatever their activity. So one important aspect of the life of the youth is settled. One thing is emotion, another thing is a physical requirement. Both are settled at an early age. And of course, those days children came within a year or two years. So they got engaged and they got busy and they… life went on, all right? Today our lives have changed because by the time you finish education, most people are minimum twenty-four, twenty-five years of age. PhD means thirty… what, thirty-five <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> It depends how kind your professor is <laughs> mm. So, let us say average and the funny, education… He have people always to laugh at his joke even if his joke is not funny and stupid or even rude. Hey, like Zach and Nike, you know, exactly like Zach and Nike. Whatever this guy is saying the stage, we clap. This is his fan. They are, you know, they are there. So th th those are his employees, actually. Continue. Christian time is twenty-five years of age. By the time they get employment and settle down somewhere to reasonable financial security, thirty years of time. Hmm. All right. The peak of human hormonal function is between fifteen to thirty. Hmm. Huh? Who said so? This is where the peak is? So like if you are thirty-one, that's it, your peak is gone? Hey, my peak is gone now. I have no peak. Are you sure? Is that scientific study, Dr. Zakir, Dr. Asad Guru? <laughs> the peak. The peak. <laughs> First of all, this is… this is… this is false because individuals are different. There's nothing called between this and that. Every human being is different. There's people, they are teenagers, still they don't have sexual desire. There's people, they have a crazy one. There's people, they have little. There's people, they have a lot. There's people, they need even medicine to make that His Majesty stand up for the anthem. So what this guy is talking about? But continue, let's see if the answer is coming. The question, remember, can we have sex before marriage? This is the question, what does all the introduction have to do with this? Or introduction for a social life to understand what's happening. But still, we need an answer. Can we have sex before marriage or not? You're not teaching people some ascetic way to live. You're not giving them some sadhana that they're transforming their energy into some other possibility hmm. and attaining to something else. There is no such thing. Yeah, actually, if you are a private, if your private part is horny, you can confer, confer, you can convert that to solar system energy. Look, look what he just said. I mean, look how they use words. You change or you make your energy in different uh, places. Okay, well, what, what, well, hold, hold on, hold on. So, are you saying to us when you get horny, you send your energy in different where, place, you know? You make it solar, you charge your phone with it. So, while you are married and you have a wife and you have daughters and you have kids, just to transform your energy to something better. Light your house with it, connect a wire there. Big words, but they are empty and they have nothing to do with reality. So when he said, if Jesus come now, who is going to follow him? Everybody have bills to pay. <laughs> Look what he's talking about now. <laughs> Sadhana, that they're transforming their energy into some other possibility. Uh -huh. 
and attaining to something else, there is no such thing. And there's close proximity with the opposite sex. If you don't want to address it... Oh, so before Indian people didn't have... they were separated like women and men like Muslims? Since when? But I know that even women, they wear like a little sheet around their body and their waist is showing always. And women, they are in the market, they are working with the man, they are working in the field, they are not separated. But this guy is talking about since when the Indian society, men and women are separated? Anybody correct me, please. Then you will create an unhealthy society, very unhealthy society which unfortunately is finding expression in violent ways in our society, because we have not addressed the fundamental needs of a human being. Well, brothers and sisters, thousands of years pass and the gods of the Hindus, they were there, and nobody addressed the fundamental needs of a human being, nobody. But this guy is going to do it. We are not addressing it, brother. Are you idiot? No, they do. And this is why they find a solution. And this is why the Gurshi said to you, shall we have sex before marriage or not? They are addressing it every day. Okay, what is the answer now after all this introduction? First thing is nourishment. But what? The question is, can we have sex before marriage? The answer is, first thing is nourishment. I knew it. I knew it. It's the food you eat. Now I know why they say don't eat seafood. <laughs> what do you mean nourishment, idiot? What is the answer for the question? Human being. First thing is nourishment. Uh -huh. If nourishment is taken care of, yeah. you must understand nourishment is survival. Once survival is taken, taken care of, naturally the species, this is not even individual, the species that you are is longing to reproduce. Hmm. This is how it's built. Okay. It's longing to reproduce. I never thought about this before. Look like the story of Adam of and Eve, they've just been discovered. You see, this is the, the this is the, this is the, this is why you should listen to the guru. I mean, Adam and Eve, obviously, they are not meant to be produced. So God did not make Eve for Adam to reproduce. He made her to clean in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm just shocked with your knowledge. Because this is survival of the species. Uh -huh. If people don't reproduce, there is not going to be human race, isn't it? Let, let, us, let me make it simple. Somebody asked me, what do you think about cell phone? I will say the following to you. First of all, let us talk about batteries. If you have a good battery, you have a cell phone. And if you have a good cell phone, you have a good battery. Okay, which, which cell phone we should buy? I'm coming, I'm coming with you. So let us say you have a cat in the, in the yard. And the cat is chasing a rat. And then the rat, she jumps inside your kitchen. And then she pushes your uh, phone in the water. And now your phone is not water resistant. So you see now the connection. We have a cat, we have a rat, we have a kitchen, we have water, we have cell phone. Now we have more way to judge the phone. The phone fell in the water. I mean, what is the answer, man? Nourishment, reproduce, reduction. The question is very simple. Should we have sex before marriage or not? Why we need all this book? Everything you are saying to us, we knew already, human being need to produce. Human being is a species, species, we are a species. Uh -huh. What is the answer? So, your body and your mind plays many tricks and how when you look at somebody, you suddenly think they're the most beautiful, suddenly you think they're the most fantastic, you will discover later. <laughs> later. <laughs> many things. But in later, we will discover later. You see, well, he is struggling to find an answer, and I will tell you why he will not answer. Initially, everything is clouded. See, I'm telling you, hmm. let's say you are uh, 10, 12 years of age, you looked at people, they're quite normal. Suddenly, you became 14. Every little bump on somebody's body is a world by itself. <laughs> oh, hold on. 
So you are an adult now and you don't see those pumps and they don't mean anything for you. Only if you are a teenager. See, this is, and this is still not answering the question. The question is, is it right or wrong to have sex before marriage? All of this have nothing to do with our question. All of these things we know already. We do not need a guru. What is the answer? Simply because your hormones begin to influence... I just discovered today that as a human being have a hormone. Thank you. All of those who they go to school in India, they do not know that. But the guru, he just told us. Okay. What is the answer? It's everything. Uh -huh. In a way, your, hormo your, uh, intelligence is your intelligence is hijacked by your hormones. We are talking about sex. And then now we are talking about hormone. And now we are talking about intelligence. You remind me of uh, Joe Biden, you know the thing. I mean, if you put the thing in the thing and then you find that the thing is cooking the thing and so you did the thing and then you, you find the thing. And if you go to the thing, you know, you find it. And anyway, the thing is explaining itself. And we are created by the thing, which is a hormone. What is the answer? Now, this is not to be judged as bad or good. Uh, this is a natural process. Do you see the answer? This is not to be judged, it's good or bad, this is natural process. So what is the answer? Let me play it again, after all this introduction. To be judged as bad or good, this is a natural process. There may be a few people who will go beyond that. It's fantastic for them if they can go beyond that. They're not compulsive about it, they went beyond it, fantastic for that person. Mm -hmm. But you expect the whole society to go beyond it, you're just stupid. Such a thing doesn't happen. So, definitely the debate of when and how sexuality should happen has to come in. But now, we are still having a certain cultural aspects to us that we are an emotional lot. We are still an emotional lot, people suffer immensely when things happen without the needed emotions, a whole lot of people at least, there may be a few people who are above that, but a whole lot of people suffer. So for our country, for our society, how to deal with this without causing a major disruption in the social structure <laughs> is something that we must debate, you must do research on it, how to… No. So this is the answer. This is something we must debate and we have to re-research. So all the research you did, you did not give us the answer? So all those twelve minutes of a speech, and the question is, is sex before marriage or, you know, after, which one is good, is it good or bad? The answer is that it's debatable and we need to do more research. So after all those thousands of years of a human being, and history of a human being, and all this age you have, you do not know really which one. So if your daughter, she come to you, and she said, I want to have sex before marriage, what you would say to her? You would say to her, it's de debatable? The girl who asked the question, look what she would say to him. Do it. Sadhguru, though I get a little hint of the answer <laughs> after all of this she said can i get a hint of the answer <laughs> can i get a hint of the answer now why this guy he did not answer after all this introduction because he don't want to bit he want, i don't want to make the conservative indian upset from him and he didn't want to lose those young women and boys who want to have sex. You see how you how you how you see a businessman. He know he know his customers. By giving no answer, he did not make the conservative Indian angry. And he did not lose the young boys and girls who want to have sex. No answer. Why it is so hard for a guru like this to answer such a little question like that? And the poor girl and all those people, look, everybody is quiet. Nobody is laughing no more because they are waiting for the answer. It's getting serious now.
No answer. It's debatable. You must do the research on it, how to do it. Uh, Sadhguru, uh, so I get a little hint of the answer of my question from your elaboration. <laughs> In other ways, she is saying to him, you little guru, you are a potato idiot. After speaking too much, you said nothing. So my friend, if you are an Indian and you think this guru is a guru, he is the same idiot like Zach and Egg. Both of them, they are businessmen. They have millions of dollars, nice fancy houses, a great life if we count the money. Their kids, they study in the most expensive schools. Big, 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 huge income. And then they school you about good and bad. So, Mr. Guru, can I get a hint of your answer? Right? Now, uh, a, a, a person, uh, he said the following. I think he is a Hindu. He's upset. It's okay, my friend. Take it easy. He said, Jesus cannot save himself. How he will save humanity? Who said that Jesus did not? Isn't it the challenge is, if you are the son of God, save yourself? Well, isn't Jesus alive? And he appeared to tens of thousands after he was resurrected from the tomb? So who said he did not? You are a fool and you are an idiot. Obviously, you do not know, you do not know what Christianity is. Regardless if you believe that Jesus is, the story is true or not, but when you speak about somebody else's faith, and you think that he is not saved. Well, he is. And he is right now alive. Even for the, the Muhammad, and he's alive. So this is a funny, stupid statement. What I notice is that when you speak about an icon person for a religion, everybody gets upset. If I know, if I go now and speak about somebody he claimed to be Christian, like as an example, uh, James White. James White, for me, is a certified donkey. But he have a big number of people who you know follow him. He believe they believe that he is a Christian pastor. He is a he is a smart person. And for me, this guy is a certified idiot. Actually, the donkey is not fit for him. Donkey is too much. He need to work hard to get that one. He's like Muhammad. So those people who, when you say something, I can prove it. By the way, about those people, I will never say something unless I can prove it. Like this, uh, James White, he says. Whoever say that Islam on whole is a terrorism, he is a liar. You stupid idiot, donkey. This is Muhammad saying, isn't it Islam is Muhammad? And isn't it Muhammad who says, I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey? Whoever of you say Islam in whole is a terrorism, he is a liar. This is what he said. So it doesn't matter really. Somebody asking me, are you a Catholic or a Protestant? I am none. I am a Christian who follow Jesus. You know, and Catholic and Christians is the same. No different really for me. This is again, this is how you know who is an idiot and who is not. You see, Christianity is believing in Jesus as son of God who came in the flesh and he crucified and he resurrected from uh, 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 the tomb who there's no salvation but by him and nobody can forgive sin except him and both of them they believe in the same so those are names are created by man for the purpose of protects not for the purpose of serving Jesus those names are not are not serving Jesus names they are serving protects but I'm not saying that those who believe in them, they are the same as the name, no. I'm saying the Catholic are wonderful people, the Protestant are wonderful people. But let us say there's big head behind, they want us to be divided. To make us believe that we are different, we are not. 
A Catholic, he believed in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. As simple as that. He believed that there's no salvation but by Jesus. As simple as that. You will see here the Pope, even the Pope, he confessed his sin every Sunday. Even the Pope, he washed the feet of his uh, attendant. There's things you don't agree with them. I don't agree with them with many things as an example, pictures. But that will not change anything. Still, they are good people and they are wonderful Christians. And if having a picture is a sin, well, I am a sinner and you are a sinner, don't be a hypocrite. If doing sin for the sake of love of Jesus will make a person bad, which is having a picture as an example, well, how many sin we do every day? Way bad, more than what you are talking about. So you, you know, we as a Christian, we should be united. For Jesus, he did not create a church, not created churches, he created a church. And the church is us, not names, not the Pope, not the Protestant, not the Catholic, not the Orthodox. It is us who believe in Jesus. Jesus said, whoever believe in me and I will live. Not whoever became a Protestant, he never mentioned those names. The only name is mentioned in the Bible is a Christian. And who is better than Christ to be called after? So for me, anyone who speak to divide the Christians, I believe he is serving Muhammad. And I will tell you why. If you go in the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 14. Allah in the Quran, which is Muhammad, the devil, he said, I am going to spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. Specifically between the Christians. Read it. And from those two who call themselves Christians, we did take a covenant, but they forgot a good part of the message that was sent to them. So we string them with enmity and hatred between one to another to the day of judgment. That is Satan. Do you see it? So anyone who claimed to be Christian, he spent his time dividing the Christians. He is serving the devil Muhammad. Period. This is the plan of the devil in front of you. Plain and open. He is not even hiding it. Divide and conquer. So you who like to divide, you are showing me a great sign of stupidity and not following Christ. We don't have to agree with certain church in certain things. No, we don't. But still they are Christians who believe in Jesus and love Jesus and they worship him. If someone is a Jehovah's Witnesses, then I would say he is not a Christian. That's it. You know, he's no Christian. Jehovah's Witnesses are not Christians. Mormon are not Christians. Very simple. So, but don't lie about others. Oh, the Catholic, they pray for the dead. You idiot. No, they don't. Because they don't believe in they are dead. And they are not praying for them. They are asking them to pray for them. They don't even, even lie about it. You know, I, I spend a lot of uh, time in all kind of schools, Protestant, Orthodox, Catholic. And I found the major problem is the priest. The priest, not the people. Most of the priests, they are Antichrist. They don't want us to be united. But not all of them for sure. So, if you are a person who believes that Catholics have something wrong, teach them, correct them. Same if you are a Catholic, if you see the Protestant, they have something wrong, teach them, correct them, but with love of Christ. By consider them people who are Christians who need your help to correct them if there is something need to be corrected. But they are Christians. Now, uh, Next Hatun topic, I have nothing to say about this topic because simply I'm against uh, to see Christian women going in uh, to speak to men, Muslim men specifically. Christian women, if you want to go, you go speak to Jehovah's Witnesses, stay away from Muslim men, or speak to Muslim women. 
so I am against everything everything happened in this uh, 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 park whatever it's called uh, I believe she should not be there I'm against it and I believe the Christians who they are there they are not good enough to be there too here we go a man he attacked her and what those guys are doing around her sister are you okay sister this is what the Christian men do and even Muslim men who they are there they are not men because any man who have dignity he will stand to defend a woman she is four foot tall if you turn the fan she will fall down a hit in her face might kill her who is not going to support such a woman and defend her but all those men in the park they are rabbits Muslims or Christians because nobody stood to defend her so I have disrespect for all of them all those men who attend that place when somebody attack a woman and they don't get involved to protect her they are rabbit and they are not men you like what I say you don't like it I don't care And for her, she do not need to be here. Here we go. I am live on air. I have 1,400 people watching. Why I want to go to this park? There's no need. There's no need. When a Muslim, he attack a woman, he is following the step of the coward Muhammad. I'm not surprised. But when a Christian, he see a woman, She's been attacked, and all what he do, somebody call 911, please. Sister, are you okay? This guy is a potato. Don't get married. Somebody will beat your wife in front of you, and you will do nothing about it. You are a certified potato. If I see a Muslim woman, somebody beating her in the street, I will beat the hell of the guy who do that. For sure to stop him, not because for the purpose of beating him. I will never let anyone beat a Muslim woman. Not because she's a Muslim, Muslim woman or a Christian woman or a Hindu woman. No, she's a woman. There's no, you know, there's no, uh, uh, I mean, just in this fight, a person who cannot defend himself against a person who is a beast. Once I saw a short guy was fighting with other, you know, two guys. And so I joined him in the fight. After we finished the fight and the other two, they left. They said, so do, you, do I know you? I said, no. He said, so why join? He said, because you are short. <laughs> I don't know the guy, honestly. And then he asked me, for, he said, what's your name? I said, no need, no problem. Take care. Don't go, don't, don't go from that direction because they might be waiting for you in, the, in there. So I just saw two guys beating one guy. He is a short guy. He's alone. Not fair. The fight is not fair. I jump in the fight. I got my t-shirt ripped off. <laughs> and then after the fight finished, he said, so do, you, do I know you? I said, no, I do not need, do not need to know me. So he said, why are you, you joining? I said, you are short. You cannot fight them alone. <laughs> So my friend, we have to be smart and we have to be people who support justice. And the Lord, he said, be uh, peaceful like dove, you know, like the little bird, the, the dove, but be wise the same as a snake or serpent. You have to be wise. There's a wisdom. Don't be a fool. I hate foolishness. As simple as that. How people around allow the terrorists to... This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. How the guy even attack her and those guys around. Look how many men in the video. I mean... Sister, are you okay, sister? Is that what you do? Very disgusting people. So don't mention this topic for me, please. Fearing, sharing fairy tales from the basement. That's a good statement. Well, let me ask you, Mr. Abdul Rahim. You do not know me. I am a person who joined the army in the time of war, you potato. A person who is a coward, he never joined the army to go to war. But let me ask you. Did your prophet ever join a war? <laughs> <laughs> or he was in the basement <laughs> 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 
the man who was victorious by terror, he was not involved in the fight. He used to sit in the back and he watched what happening. He's a coward, he's a potato. The only time, you know, he was injured, when somebody threw a rock from far distance at Muhammad and he broke his teeth. That's why when he speak, he speak like a Zakir Nay. Brother and sister, today I'm going to recite the Quran for you. Rahim. Do you, do you want to show you how the Prophet, he lost his teeth? He was not fighting. Potato like your Prophet. Do you remember in the Quran where Muhammad, he said, he promised the Muslims to go to war and win the war. And he says, 100 of you can fight 1,000. Did he go with them? Did he fight with them? Did he kill anyone? Hmm? Then the Muslim they went and they got busted. And here you see how a prophet who is a false prophet he got busted fast. Allah said to Muhammad, supposedly, Prophet, rose the believers to fight. If there are 20 among you, patient and preserving, they will vanquish 200. Look at this promise 20 can kill 200. That's an American movie. This is Sylvester Stallone, brother. He have a gun, never get empty. He keeps shooting and people die. <laughs> so the Muslim, they believe them that 20 can kill 200. They went there, they got busted. They came back to Muhammad. They said to him, Muhammad, what are you, man? You told us, Allah told you, man, what happened? Look what Muhammad, right away, he was ready with the verse. He said, oh, hold on. For the present, Allah has lightened your task, for he knows that there is a weak spot on you. Mm -hmm. So Allah do not know that the weak spot on them a day before. So Allah, when he sent them and he said to them, 20 can kill 200, you do not know that they have a weak spot on them. What is the weak spot? What is that? They do not take too much vitamin. Vitamin B and A were missing. I mean, isn't it obvious that you are a liar and you are stupid and you told them 200 can fight 20? And that cannot be true. Because 200 to 20, that means I am, I am a person, every one of us can fight 10 people, 10 swords at the same time. Who in the world want to believe such a garbage? Unless it's a miracle of God. You see, if God he promised victory, I believe it can happen, even if you are one person. Because in that case, it's not you who is making victory. You know what I'm saying? So, this is why those people, they went to the war and they believed they would win. Because yes, there's 220 against 200, but Allah said that, so we will win. They went there, they lost. And Muhammad, he need to give them an excuse. He said, oh Allah, he just find that you have a weakness on you. So now he changed your task. Okay, what do you mean? So he has lightened your task for he knows that there's a weak spot on you. But even between two brackets, even so, if there are if, if there are a hundred of you with patient preserving, they will vanquish to look like what happened from one can fight ten to one can fight two. Do you see how Allah he changed his mind? He told them one can fight ten, then one can fight two. Two. Do you see the liar? How he got busted? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything to us? So my message for you today, that in every belief, not only in Hindu, not only in Islamic religion, even for the Christians, there is people who they are doing business. And their business is not to be, this is why they are always politically correct. They don't say things as it is, for they are fake and they are politically correct. Sadhguru, Zakir Naik, you see Zakir Naik, uh, he never answered a question 
as it is. I never saw actually a Muslim who do that. The only Muslim who do that is either Al-Qaeda or ISIS. Those are the only truth for Muslim who say things as it is. The rest they don't. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Uh, <clears throat> CP, can you explain what you you said regarding end time will not come and that there is no good guys left on earth? Okay. So we have a question here. <clears throat> Okay. Can you explain what you have said regarding end time will not come until there is no good guys left on earth? My friend, I do not need to explain that to you. If you go and read Jesus' speech about the judgment day, you see the Muslim, they quote for you always certain verses from the Bible. They say to you, Jesus said, only the Father know the hour, right? The fact Jesus is saying, that I know the hour, but only my father will announce the hour, for he is the father and he is the one who presents the authority. But the authority is given to me too, to be the judge in the judgment day. So Jesus says, I've been given the power of the flesh. From who? From the father. So again, Jesus, he confirmed that the father is the one who holds the authority and the authority Jesus he have. Even that one is coming from the Father. So when Jesus speak about Judgment Day, he say when this happened, this happened, this happened, when this happened, etc. Then that hour, that generation will not pass before the Judgment Day come. If you read the verses, you will see Jesus is speaking about corruption. How a person, he will betray his brother how everybody is betrayal everybody is corrupt so if you go back in the Old Testament we will find the same when Lut he asked God are you going to destroy my city my town if there is 50 people are good he said no okay what about if there are 20 no what if there are 10 no So judgment day happened by us. The more we corrupt ourselves, the faster it's going to happen. Because remember, the point of a judgment day is that it is I give you all the opportunity, all the chance, and you exceed. So let us say, let us make it this way. Uh, let me search for an image will present what I'm trying to explain to you. Uh, well, you know, I was looking for actually, I was looking for a, a sand clock, but I, I found something better. Look with me at this picture. This is us. The more we breathe in the cigarette, the faster the cigarette will burn. If we don't touch the cigarette, the cigarette will take a really long time before the whole thing will be consumed by the heat and the fire. So, the faster we smoke, I'm using smoke here as an example, the faster we die. The faster we are consumed. Are you getting my point? 
So God, he said to you, I gave you a body, and this body is not to use it as a cigarette, not to burn it, not to damage it. Then you start using it as a cigarette because you want to enjoy life, you want to have fun, you know, as you want or as you deserve, as you think that you deserve to have, or as you think fun is going to be for you. So your body is a cigarette, but it's not meant to be a cigarette. I'm giving you an example. And you decide to put fire in it. And you think that this smoke is coming from it is fun. Judgment Day is going to be at the end of that cigarette. So the more we are smoking the poison, the more we are dying, the faster we are dying. So God did not send the Judgment Day preset time because it's up to us. He gave us a free will. He did not give us a free will about when the day will be as a decision, but he gave us the free will about how fast we can make it. If there's nothing left but ashes, then God, he will say, okay, it's time to judge this fire. Are you getting the point? So in Christianity, we don't believe in a preset date for that is not just. The, heart, the fire have to be consumed in total so no more somebody trying to repent no more somebody trying to be forgiven nobody more trying to pray to God asking to be the good person to help him when there's no more there's no more for waiting no need for waiting are you did you get my point I hope I was able to answer you in a very simple way or you can use even a sand clock, you know, like, uh, you know, let us say, uh, but I, I think that the cigarette does, you know, does the job, right? For Muslims, it, the story is different because for them, they believe in a predestiny. Everything is already written. Who will go to fire? Who will go to hell? It's just a joke. You know, Islam is a joke when it's come to believe because it is not what you do. It is what Allah, he decides for you. And we explained that many times for you in many videos. You can search that about destiny. <clears throat> uh, a Muslim, he said, let us post this. We welcome Muslims to share with us, try to defend their cult. Why not? You know? You have the right to do so, and we have the right to answer you. Here our friend, uh, a Muslim man, he says, Quran chapter 5 verse number 32 says, whoever kills, uh, or maybe he's making just a circumstance, he, he's, he's not Muslim, maybe, I don't know. Uh, whoever kills a person is like killing a whole mankind. Is that really true? Yeah. Well, first of all, this is not was given to the Muslim, this was given to Moses. The verse you are quoting, it says, Allah, he said to Moses, if someone he killed one person as he killed all mankind. But uh, this verse is about killing someone unjustly and he is not, uh, he's a Muslim. If he is a, not a Muslim, then you can kill him, no problem. This is why Muhammad, he says in chapter 9, verse number 29, fight and kill those who don't believe in Allah. So if you're killing one person has killed all mankind, so he's talking about what? He's talking about killing a Muslim. So if you kill a Muslim unjustly, and justly here is between two brackets, because Muhammad is the one who decides just killing. So if a Muslim, he leave Islam, we kill him. That is just killing. If a Muslim, he don't pray to Allah, we kill him. That is just killing. If a Muslim don't want to pay his zakat, he, we kill him. If a Muslim, he want to eat pork or, you know, we, we kill him. So justly here is a very flexible word for Muhammad. So Muslim, they use certain words. We use two, like just, marriage, uh, innocent. But in Islam, they have different meaning. As an example, innocent man in Islam is only Muslims. If you remember the interview 
uh, in the BBC with uh, with a Muslim, a decent Muslim. Let us say he's honest Muslim. He said the truth. They said to him, "Why you condem don't condemn the killing of innocent people in the attack of London?" He says, "At the end of the day, uh, innocent people for us as Muslims only are Muslims." The BBC guy he said to him, "Are you kidding me? Are you saying?" that only Muslims are innocent. He said, yes, that is the truth. Right? Question, do you think Muhammad resemble biblical false prophet? He don't resemble, he is the false prophet. I mean, if, <laughs> you see, actually any chapter in the Quran proven Muhammad to be a false prophet. And this is my change to the Muslims. Right now, as we speak, who is a Muslim can show me a prophecy in the Quran? It, it, it was not turned to be a false prophecy. A challenge. Yeah, Chawadriya. Any Muslim can show me? Who can show me one prophecy in the Quran? Just one. Did not turn to be false one. Capitalism or communism? I think both of them are stupid because capitalism is a beast. Communism is different kind of a beast. Both of them, they end with one thing, that those who they are in charge, they are very rich, and those who they are not, they are very poor. So in capitalism, you have five people in America, they are more rich than all the American, ugly, disgusting. Still, it's better than Everybody is rich in India, but nobody have TV. Uh, sorry, in, in, in China, but nobody have TV. <laughs> Except those who work in the government. <laughs> they have billions. <laughs> it's the same. Communism and capitalism is just two systems to control human being and to control a system. However, capitalism is, is giving more motivation for a human being to work. So, it's more, let us say, it's better, but it's ugly too. But both are a beast. Like, is it fair that the owner of Amazon, he went to the space for 10 minutes, and he spent to go to the space for 10 minutes, what all of us in a city need to work for the entire life. All of us, like a city of 10 million, will not be able to make the money he just spent to go for 10 minutes to the space. Is that fair? Just for fun. We just we're gonna have fun, you know? So it's not fair. So capitalism is not fair. Communism is not fair. Fair is to be with Jesus. Jesus said voluntarily, willingly help. If somebody asks you for one step, walk with him 1,000. If somebody asks you for your coat, give him your dress. If all of us, we practice this, not one person, then there's no poor left and no rich is there. Because all of us, we will be coated, addressed, and fed. So I find that the solution is to be Christian, not to be capitalism or not to be communist. So we go back to our topic. Any Muslim can show me one prophecy, Muhammad, he said, come to be true. CP is misleading people and misinterpreting Quran. Okay, well, my friend, why you don't call me and show me how I do that and you correct me in front of everybody? And I like your moon, by the way. Why you put the moon there? Are you trying to mislead us to make people believe that you are a person who worship the moon? Why the moon is there? I see there a sign, moon, heart, and hands. Are you praying from your heart to the moon? What is the connection between the moon and Allah? Any Muslim can answer? What is the connection between Allah and the moon? Why we Christians around the world will not have a brigade or an army to protect the Christians? 
my friend you can do that easy just don't listen to your priest in the government try to involve in your country and always do your best in your government in that country to protect the Christians and not only the Christians anyone is suffering from unjust so you can do that without making an army just Christians you see the priest they say to you we should not be involved in politics and by doing that you are giving a chance to the Muslims to the Hindus to the Buddhas to the atheists to everybody to be in control of you the, 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 the priests are very very stupid priests so any Muslim want to give us a prophecy of the one so clean prophet in the Quran come to be true anyone Anyone? Nobody? Who would like, who is a Muslim would like to call me? Who is a Muslim? He have a long beard like uh, uh, Zakir Naik. I mean, Zakir Naik, he bought like 10,000 kilograms of fertilizer to grow his beard. It's not a growing. I mean, this guy is trying to look like a sheikh, but it's not working. Uh, stop lying to people, Yusuf is saying. Okay, Yusuf, let me ask you. Yusuf, yesterday I went to the seven galaxies at night and I came back. Do you think I'm lying, Yusuf? Yesterday at night I went to the seven galaxies and I came back. Do you think I'm lying, Yosef Isa? It took me like 10 hours maximum. Do you think I'm lying? Any Muslim want to answer? Who is a Muslim want to help me? Yesterday I went behind the seven galaxies, the seven seas, to the you know behind like with stars and etc. It took me ten hours and I came back at night. Do you think I'm lying? Do you know why Muslims are not answering? Anyone can explain to me how come they are not answering? Why they are thinking too much? Shouldn't they say you are a liar? Honestly, shouldn't they say right away you are a liar? How come they are not saying that? He must have, what happened? I just told you, yesterday I went behind the seven galaxies, the Milky Galaxy, the Yogurt Galaxy, the Bear Galaxy, the Sukukukuba Galaxy. I came back in 10 hours. Did I lie or not? Look at the peaceful Muslims, nobody will answer. <laughs> we know why they aren't answering, because this is what Muhammad is saying. You see, you see, like the way they say to us, challenge us that Muhammad is a false prophet. It's just a simple question, you don't dare to answer it, obviously. You, you yourself believe Muhammad is a fraud. A person, you woke up in the morning, he says to you, yesterday I went behind the galaxies, behind the stars, be seven, the seven heavens, seven heavens, not one heaven, seven. All of this in less than nine, nine hours or ten, eight hours. In the top of a donkey. Hmm? Do I need really a proof that this guy is an idiot and he is a liar? And then when he come back, they ask him how Jerusalem looked like. He stopped in Jerusalem, by the way. And then he tied up brother uh, Angel Jibril. He put his finger in a rock in the side of the door of Al-Aqsa Mosque. But there was no Aqsa there. What Aqsa Mosque? There was no Aqsa. And he made a hole so he can't tie the donkey of the Prophet because... The donkey might run away. Look, what the heck? A donkey sent by Allah will run away? 
And not only that, there was 124,000 donkeys and 124,000 prophets waiting for Muhammad, including Jesus. And when uh, when uh, when Jesus he saw Muhammad, uh, uh, there, there is a guy, uh, Egyptian guy. His name is Amru Khalid. He's a, you know he's a famous. He have programs in TV, and always the attendant are females. And he used to be bald, and he put hair in his head. Yeah, business. So uh, he, he described for you like uh, how, what happened when Muhammad he entered the mosque and Isa was in reception for him. He said, "Riga Rasul, Rasul Riga. Arfin when you are one, Arfin when Rasul Riga. Must the Mecca la, must the Medina la. He Riga the Uts. Arfin we can be stayed there. Riga Rasul, Riga Rasul, Riga Isa. Why is he telling you?" صلي فينا يا رسول الله لا ممكن لازم حتما تصلي فينا يا رسول الله Now if you go and watch the video of this guy you will see this is his voice <coughs> Oh boy and the Muslims are so excited so Isa he was waiting for Muhammad Muhammad did not go brother he did not go brother he did not go to Mecca back no brother he did not go to Medina brother he went to Jerusalem brother and who was waiting for him brother Isa brother. Isa, he went to the door of the mosque, brother. He said to, to Muhammad, you have to pray for us. And then Muhammad he says, No, 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 no. You pray for him. You pray, Isa, you pray for the, you know. Isa he said, No way. Over my dead body. I will break my Pepsi in the top of your head if you don't pray for us. <laughs> Prophecy in the Quran, the Roman Empire has been defeated in the land closely. Well, that's a good one. Let us see. Are you a Muslim, Mr. Light? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Well, first of all, this prophecy, Muhammad, he said, after the victory happened. <laughs> Let us go to the hadith. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> so this is a prophecy the prophet he said okay let's see the prophecy read and laugh with me have you ever heard of a prophecy somebody say it after it happened read carefully Abu Sa'id narrated on the day of Badr the Roman had victory over the Persian. So the believers were pleased with that. Then the following revealed Alif Lam Mim, the Roman had been defeated. <laughs> but they have victory already. <laughs> so my friend, your, your prophecy is the same as me now, saying to you that Trump, he will win the election in 2006. Are you there, Mr. Light? So your prophet, he said the prophecy, after the guys get victory, he said they will be victorious. Are you there? And this is Sahih. Let me make a prophecy. My mother, she give, she will give a birth to a person. She will call him Krishna Prince, and that was long time ago. What a decent, amazing prophecy! Allah is in the Bible. So who is God? Jesus or Allah? Answer, uh, Muhammad. I don't know. Your question is like, is like somebody was vomiting. Is that a question? I don't understand. Can you re? Uh, write again the question. I think you are fly, you are suffering from flight of thought, like your prophet. Allah is in the Bible. So who is God? Where, where Allah is in the Bible? Where is it? Where is it in the Bible? 
maybe you mean the translation uh, translation I can I can change you know if somebody want he can change the name of the translation of God the word God he make it Krishna if you want uh, but this is false translation give me a question my friend your question is like somebody having diarrhea Muhammad is a false prophet you see, when Muhammad he says that the, the judgment day is sight and the moon is split asunder, did he give a prophecy? Yes. Was it right? No. It was false. Because the judgment day did not happen. So he exposed himself. You see it? And he was thinking, explain to us how Muhammad make a false prophecy. Muhammad, when he saw the eclipse, he went crazy. And he claimed that the moon split asunder. But the moon never split. Because if the moon is split anyway, the earth will be destroyed. And so Allah, he split it and he put it together. Did he split it or not? Does it say in the verse that Allah, he put it together? No. It says Allah he split it. So if this is true, the moon should be split until now. What say you? Any Muhammadan? This is a false prophecy. He claimed that the judgment judgment day is already started and the moon is split. Any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muslim Sheikh he accept to challenge me friendly to debate? Any Muslim Sheikh is listening. We have almost 500 people watching. Do we have any Muslim Sheikh is willing to call me and prove to us Islam to be true religion? However you want to do it, it's up to you. I don't care. Anyone? You are a big shake, you know, maybe you are like Zach and Nick. Maybe you are more strong. I think you are stronger because Zach and Nick, I mean, I mean he wear like jacket to make himself look like, you know, like he's there, but I don't see him there. Any Muslim? What is my Skype? Uh, give me your Skype, I will call you, my friend. Here we go. I, I'm not really using Skype, but because the spell talk look like it's not functioning right, so we can use a Skype temporarily until we find a solution. Give me your Skype, I will call you. Mr. Uh, what is his name? Muhammad post your Skype <clears throat> I'm waiting my friend where's your Skype I just opened Skype just for you, Muhammad. Okay, did you find my Skype? Did they give it to you? <coughs> text me, please. Just text me and I will call you immediately. And I'm sure people, they will be happy to have a Muslim who have knowledge. Uh, guys, invite your friends. Sheikh Muhammad is going to call me. So we will have a nice discussion with Sheikh Muhammad. <clears throat> Thank you, my friend, super.
So my friend, I did not receive any text from you, Muhammad, until now. Can you please text me? I'm waiting. All right, well, until this uh, gentleman, Sheikh uh, Muhammad, he find his way. No problem, we are waiting for you. If there is any Muslim would like to help Mr. Muhammad, uh, we can take you, if you are ready, and he is not ready, we can take your call. Any Muslim? I don't really care if you are a scholar, I don't know, I mean, for me it doesn't matter, I don't know who's calling anyway. So you can claim to be a scholar, you can be a scholar. Actually, I just saw a picture. Which I find really weird because this is not a true, you know. <clears throat> a Muslim lady, she is walking in England, in London, and she is saying, We gave you hummus, have some respect. I'm, I don't know what to say. First of all, lady, hummus is not an Islamic food. This is what the, the, the Christians who live in the Middle East before Islam. Your prophet, he eat nothing except dead bodies of lizard or dead camel or palm date. This is a desert food. Hummus was not from the desert. This is from the people who Islam occupy. But you have a, you have a point there. <laughs> we give you hummus. Have some respect. What happened to Muhammad? Zakir Naik is not hiding. No, Zakir Naik is hiding. He ran away. He's hiding. Who said he's not? And who said to you, I'm hiding? How I'm hiding? What do you mean I'm hiding? And like, if, if I'm not hiding, what you would do? Let us say I'm hiding now. What you would do? Still you can answer me? No. Stupid, you know, just a stupid statement. Hiding, not hiding, still Muslims leave Islam watching my videos and you cannot answer me. And you, Zach and Naik, who is not hiding, supposedly, you cannot answer me. Stupid word. Get busy with hummus, my friend. Get busy with hummus. Because your thinking is a hummus thinking. No, they have nothing to do with hummus. This is a lie. All this food you see in them, this is not Islamic food. But a sweet, there's only one sweet mentioned in the whole hadith, the Muslims they have. Uh, uh, cooking is only one dish is known as a thareed. Go read it. They don't have really cooking. They don't have, this is not Islamic. This is what the people of the Middle East they used to have. As an example, they occupy Lebanon. Uh, Lebanese Christians, Aramaic people, they have their own food. They occupy Greece. The Turkish now, they say, uh, baklava is our food. Baklava is a, is, a, is a Greek food. All the sweet you, this is a hijacked. They have no food. The, the, the Magnolian, they used to drink the camel, sorry, the, 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 the drink is the horse blood. The horse of blood.
So they hijack a country and then they claim the food belonged to them. So what happened to this guy, Muhammad? Are you getting ready with hummus, my friend? I mean, is it really too hard to text me? with your so you you flood the text with you what's your Skype? And when we open Skype for you, you are not there. Any Muslim? Okay, we have Muhammad. Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What, you like what is your us? topic? What well, is your topic? Let us start with Assalamu Alaikum. You said Assalamu Alaikum, right? Yes. Can a Muslim say Assalamu Alaikum to Christians? Yes. It's for everyone, you know? Where, where do you get this from? No, well, every scholar say that. Can you give me one? My scholar. I know your scholar. He said that. Can you show me where he said that? Yeah, he said to me. Okay, well, he said to you. Where he got it? Uh, your scholar himself. Is that from the Quran? Is it from the Hadith? Because as I know, and as you know, my knowledge is limited. Uh, you cannot do that. Not from the Quran, but my scholar say. We can, we can say that to everyone. You are a Muslim Sunni or Shia or maybe you are a Hindu. What is your religion? Shia. You are Shia. Well, your prophet, he says, don't uh, greet the Christians and the Jews. If you see them in the street, you have to harm them. But I want to mm. ask you something because I don't know much about Islam, you know, but Oh, okay. So, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. I seen, I seen your video. All right. You like, uh, looks like you know about Islam, right? Yeah, a little. So, I want to you hmm. prove if Islam is a false religion. Hmm. Okay. So you want me to prove that to you? What? Why? What about you? Prove to me Islam is a good religion or it's real religion? Because you are the Muslim, not me. Yeah, but I want to know first from you because you always. Well, for me, okay, I, I will make it simple. Attack Islam. E everything know? about Islam is stupid. Is that okay? Everything about Islam is stupid. As an example, what kind of God? But how? He, what yeah, kind? Of, myself, how, friend, okay, you ask me a question. Let me answer you. What kind of God he promised me a lot of women with big vagina and big boobs in the heaven? How that? You know what? What this God is about? Like what? You know? Do you like to have women with big boobs or small boobs? It's in the Quran or Hadith. This is the question now. I'm not saying where it is. I'm saying how you like them. Like, do you, do you think God, he promised me big boobs? Is that God? He promised me that? No, I don't think. Okay. Quran chapter 78, verse number 33, it says, Allah will give you women. He did not even say the word women with big boobs. Maybe they will walk by themselves, by the way, because I saw a movie where, like, there's not the whole body appear. You see only like part of it like the head or so maybe in this case Allah will send you only books you know so chapter 78 verse number uh, 33 it says and uh, big boobs doesn't say the word women by the way in translation they use the word women but in the verse can you Arabic, show can you show in the YouTube yeah I'm showing it right now it's in the screen okay yeah Do you see it? 
No, I don't see it. Okay, why you don't open your Quran in your side? Chapter 78, verse number 33. And I can give you a link. Do you want me to give you a link? Okay, in, in can you give me Skype? the link, please? Okay, I will give you a link in Skype, no problem. Okay. All right. Here we go. I give you the link. Okay, give me a second. All right. Yes. Okay, so this is your God. He gave you, he promised you big boobs. But why my scholar never say that to me? No one. I don't know. You know? This is Quran. As you see, this is not uh, something we can ignore. This is in the Quran. So you have a God who promised you big boobs. Why do you think your God is a promise you big boobs? What kind of God he do that? I know it's wrong, but I still don't believe, you know? What do you mean don't believe? I don't understand. You don't believe in Islam no more? Or you believe in Islam? No, because Islam is a, a religion of peace, you know? Huh. So it must be right. Mm. What does this have to do with my topic? Do you think those are boobs of peace too? Do you think there's a connection between Islam, religion of peace, and boobs? What is the connection between boobs and Islam, religion of peace? Which I don't, cannot find in the Quran. The Quran says, kill everybody around you. So what peace? Islam means to surrender, not peace. But I'm trying to connect the dot because you are the one who... But how, how, how do you know Islam means is surrender? I can show you, but, what why, is not but why we are changing the Quran and changing the topic now? What is the connection between our topic no, and Islam religion of peace? No, I'm not changing the topic. I just wanted to know if it's, you say the truth, you know? Okay, I'm showing you. Because sometimes I, I, people I, I, I will can show you, no problem. Lie. I will show you. We will go there. But let's finish this one first. Why this God, he tried to say to me, or he's saying to me, if I believe in him, he will give me women with a huge, huge breast. Have you ever... Do, do, do you have any sexual... Like temptation when you see a cow? Cow, they have big breast. Big, big, huge, and full of milk too. And maybe yogurt. So what this God, what he's trying to say to us? There's a garden, and this garden there is a grape, and there is a, a fruits, you know? And right away he jumped to boobs. He doesn't even mention the word women, right away from a grape to boobs. Do you think there's a connection between grape and boobs? I know it's wrong. Okay, so Islam is wrong. We do not need to continue then. If this is wrong, that's me. But I still confuse, you know, I still confuse. I still want to find the truth, you know. No problem. But you About just my said, religion, because but my friend, you just said I seen your video. You actually like you have knowledge, you know. Well, you know, we we do our best to have knowledge, no problem. But uh, what you saying now? You said to me this is wrong. So, isn't it obvious Islam is wrong? Yes, this okay. is wrong. If God say that, yeah, I don't know. So why you want to be a Muslim? Why you want to stay as a Muslim? This is stupid. This is there's no way God will say such a thing. Because some people still, you know, say. Islam is a peaceful, Islam is a okay, follower of true God. Islam, Islam is peaceful, but, yeah. did, okay, did Muhammad, okay, what do you think about if we fight, and after I, you know, fight you, and I capture you, I start cutting your fingers? What do you think about that? Is that is that good? Sorry, what is your question? Let us say me and you, we have a fight, and then I won the fight, 
and now I tie yes. you up, and then I start cutting your fingers. Uh, do you think it's, it's bad? Do you think it's peace to, you know, not only to cut the necks of people after that you start, or I tie you up, or you are dead already now, and I go and cut your fingertips? No. Okay, this is the Quran, chapter 8, verse number 12. Why somebody want to cut the fingertips of a human being? What is that for? And this is the link, you can open it. And this is your Muslim translation. Okay, I will open. Hmm. Have Let you ever, copy have you ever like, do you like to watch horror movies? Like in the movies, sometimes you see a guy or mafia movies, they got like the one for the cigar and they cut the finger of the guy with it, you know? Your God, Allah, he, he like that. He's a mafia guy. Is this from the Quran, right? Yeah, this is, yeah, from the early pages of Muhammad, exactly, Quran. Chapter 8, verse number 12. I just gave you a link. Okay, hmm. I open it. Yes. Hmm. So Remember, it, it... thy Lord inspired the angel. Hmm. With you, give. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, all their fingertips of them. Cut their necks, cut their fingertips. What is this? Do you think this is nice and peace? And he will install terror. No, hmm. this is like bad things. Yeah. Do you like to beat your wife? What? Do you like to beat your wife? No, <laughs> I don't. What? I don't have. What? I don't have wife. Oh, you don't have wife? Wife? Why? What happened? No. You? I'm still single, you know. Uh, which country are you from, my friend? I'm from. This is. It's okay. Do not. I should say. say, or. It's up to you. You know, if you like to say, no problem. Okay, I'm from. Indonesian. Okay, no problem. You're welcome. I like Indonesian people, but they don't like me. I don't know why Indonesian don't like me because you know, uh, I once I told in, uh, somebody I don't like rice, and since then they don't like me. I don't know why. But anyway, listen, listen with me now. In chapter 4, verse number 34, it says that if your wife, she disobey you, you can beat her. What do you think? Is this true or because, you know, hmm. I'm not have much knowledge about Islam because it's rare. Sometimes I open the Quran, you know. Yeah, but well, this is the Quran. Here we go. I will give you the link. You can read it. Chapter 3, chapter 4, verse number 34. And this is the link, I will send it to you. Hmm. What do you think? If you ask your wife to make some tea for you, and your wife, she said, okay, like five minutes from now, you know, you scold her, you scream at her, she don't move, you know, then you stop, you jail her in her room, and if you want, you can beat her. It's up to you. But why all scholar in Indonesia never tell this? You know, what, like even which, my scholar. Which, which scholar is? They your, never. Which, your, which they is your never favorite scholar in Indonesia? Say about this. Which one is your favorite scholar in Indonesia? Uh, what is your question? What is your favorite scholar in Indonesia? You don't have a favorite mm, my yeah? scholar? Yeah, what's your favorite one? Which one is like you like the one you like to watch or listen to? Abdullah Somad. Oh, Abdul Somad is my friend. You know, he, we used to uh, we used to be in jail together. You know. He was arrested for marrying a child. Uh, I was arrested for preaching the gospel. You know? yeah. But why, why scholar Indonesia never tell about this? Because I, I don't know. I'm actually, I just follow Islam, you know. It's almost 20. Right now I'm 26, so 26 years. 
Uh -huh. Yeah, but I mean, still we are showing you those things. It's in the Quran. So, so when you listen to this guy, Abdul Samud, you know, he charged five thousand dollars for to make a speech for ten minutes. You know, this is how uh, how businessman he is in a poor country like Indonesia. Uh, so why he don't teach you the truth about Islam? Because they said we just need to, you know, read the Quran yeah, without the Quran. Here we go. asking the Quran, them. The Quran says, "Beat your wife." Why? Why Quran say that? Well, the Quran says that I don't know because the Quran respect women. You know, uh, Abdul Samud he claimed that this is a, a form of respect. If you respect your wife, you beat her. So I want to know, I want to ask you a question. Can I? Sure, sure, go ahead. Uh, can you prove more if Islam is wrong? Or if Islam is wrong? Yes, I want, I want to know. Well, already, Actually, already I want to know. Already, already we mentioned three things to you and you agreed all of them they are wrong. So why don't I keep, keep going like we prove Islam? Okay, I will tell you a story happened to me yesterday. And you tell me what do you think? Okay. Yesterday I went before you know I went to sleep. Usually I sleep very very early, like you know, uh, you know, like with the chicken, you know. So I slept early, and then an angel came to me and he have a donkey, and then he looked at my window. I opened the window. I saw the donkey. He told me that uh, God he want you to go. So I took the donkey with the angel and I went to behind the seven galaxies. And I went there and I came back like, you know, after like 10 hours. What do you think about my story? Mm, I don't know. No, come on. Be I'm me. Do you think it's true story or I'm lying? I think you are lying. Thank you very much. Well, isn't Muhammad, he said to you, that he went to the seven galaxies behind the seven seas he saw he went all the way to the house of Allah all of this in a few hours at night and then he went in his way back to Jerusalem so how come my story is a lie and the story of Muhammad is not because he is the prophet of Allah so what God. still he is a man like me you know the donkey Messenger. going to the seven of heaven seven galaxies behind uh, you know and then come back all of this between four hours to go four hours to come back you know there's there's a stars will take us maybe a hundred year by the speed of light by the speed of light just to arrive to those stars so now muhammad he went beyond all the stars because remember the quran says that the stars are located in the first heaven you know that right <coughs> You know, or no? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just still confused, you know, about mm. my religion, but I'm follow this religion. So how Muhammad, let us focus, let us focus together. How Muhammad, he went to the seven galaxies, seven heaven, and there were seas there too, you know. And then all of this in a few hours, what do you think? You, when I said to you the same as Muhammad said, you said to me, this is, cannot be true, it's a lie. And I agree with you, it's a lie. But this is when I said the story. So how come, uh, uh, you know, when Muhammad he says the same story, you are not willing to say it's a lie? <coughs> Bless you, my friend. Drink some water, it's okay. So, if Islam is a false religion, so... Uh, how, how... You are a Christian, right? Yeah. 
how you can believe is Jesus is a God. I want to know but from Jesus, you. Jesus is not a God. He is God. Very simple. Okay, if I ask you, where is Jesus now? You but know? Jesus in the Quran only a messenger of Allah. Okay, no problem. You know? I'm asking you from the Quran. Where is Jesus now? Allah save him. You know. Okay, but where is he now? In the heaven. Okay. And all the human are dead. Muhammad is dead, right? Yes. Abraham is dead. Yes. Jesus is not. Why? How, how many years a human being shall live? So why Jesus can live all those years and not on earth, he live in heaven? What he is doing there? <laughs> that will be back to you. Let me see, there's a Muslim, there's a Muslim girl she is trying to call. We will see what she will say. I will be back to you, okay? I will call you just to give you time to think. All right? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let us see this. Maybe it's a Muslim guy used a Muslim name or a woman name. We do that. <clears throat> Yes, my friend. One second. Hmm. Hello, is this Christian Prince? Yes. Are Hi, you, weren't uh, you just on a, uh, I don't know, a live video chat right now? Yes, I'm live on air actually, and you called me many times, so I wanted to see what's up. You are live yeah, on air uh, and nobody can hear you right now. <clears throat> I believe that you were just uh, debating the Shia. Oh, okay. So are you a Muslim? A Muslim? I'm a Sunni Muslim. All right. So what do you like to tell us, Mr. You call yourself Fatima, so I don't know what to call you. Fatima is a girl name, right? No, it's just the, the, the ah, Skype okay. account. Ah, all right. Okay, no problem. So what, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Can you, I can would, you help uh, us to uh, tell like us how to, Islam uh, is a correct religion? Maybe you can help well, us. Well, Islam is a true religion if you have knowledge. The okay. problem is that you don't have the knowledge, which I feel bad for you. Okay, that's good. So you have knowledge yourself? Well, of course. I'm a sheikh, brother. Oh. Oh, you are a sheikh. That's good. So as long I have knowledge, just you know, some of these people sometimes that they have videos, for example, like if I explain like Zakir Nayak or Muhammad Hijab or well, Sheikh Uthman bin Farooq actually is a sheikh, but these people are known. And then there's some people, you know, that may not be known, but they can still be sheikh, you know? Mm. So you are a sheikh. You are, you are a sheikh. You have knowledge like Uthman, this guy, or you don't, you have more. No, not like him. I wouldn't say that. No, to be honest. But let's let's get less, directly into the You have, you the have topic. less knowledge than him. Well, I obviously, but I mean, let's get directly into the topic. What I want to oh, mention. Okay. So, what do you want to mention? Go ahead. Uh, let's talk about the black stone, if you don't mind. Sure, go ahead. Uh, you uh, say we uh, tell you in Islam that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mm -hmm. has kissed the black stone. Correct. All right. And you say, why did he kiss it? Exactly. So I want to ask you, if I wasn't by his side, and it's not mentioned, how would I know? If you are, if you are what? Not in his side? Well, for example, he's from, he's not living in our time, correct? Okay. And you're uh, saying, why did he kiss the black stone? So right. if I'm living now, how would I know if it's not mentioned in Quran and Sunnah? There's no way I know that. But it's, it's you must have reported that, right? Correct, I understand. But okay. I'm saying he, he doesn't live in our time. So he kissed the black stone. The reason we kiss it, because mm -hmm. it's an act of sunnah. Okay. Sunnah is what he did. So we follow him. He's our role model. Okay, that's wonderful. What, but why, why he did? 
that's exactly what I told you. I have no idea because he didn't mention it. If he mentioned it, then I could answer you. Okay, so what you are saying to me now, that Allah never said to Muhammad to kiss the black stone. Well, I said Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may peace be upon him, kiss the black stone like it's mentioned in the hadith, correct? We got that, but who is the one who taught Muhammad to kiss the black stone? Uh, I, I don't know why he kissed it. I already answered you, my friend. Okay, so... And this is what all the Islamic scholars say. Uh, all right. Now what I say. So you, you do not know why Muhammad kissed it. But shouldn't you Muslims know your religion? Because this is now an act of worship. Muhammad, he kissed a stone which is attached to the Kaaba. It's an act of worship. And shouldn't you know why he doing such an act? Well, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't understand what's wrong with that. Well, uh, how, how come you claim that you are not pagan and then you kiss a stone? Because you you claim in your videos that we worship the black stone and you, well, you're completely an, wrong about that. Act, it's an act of worship to kiss the stone. No, stones. because Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala who clearly said in a Sahih al-Bukhari, exactly. page number 1597, I studied this stuff, my friend, okay. that had Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not have kissed you, I wouldn't kiss you either. Neither do you benefit, neither do you harm. Umar ibn Khattab mentioned that. Exactly. In a Sahih al-Bukhari hadith, why would he say you don't harm if we worship it? Thank you I very mean, much. benefit if we don't okay. worship it. Thank you. He clearly said you're just a black stone. Thank you. So, so Amr al-Khattab, he is getting Muhammad busted. Because, because if the black stone is useless, then we should not kiss yeah, it. Yeah, why does it have uh, no, listen, witnesses listen, listen, on the day of judgment? Listen, listen, it will be a witness for us, right? Uh, but hold on. You just say it, Amr al-Khattab. He says there is, you, there is no use of you, correct? <laughs> Well, he's he's trying to explain to you, my friend, that we, we don't worship. We no, don't worship. No, 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 no. He, we only no, no, worship no, no. Just one take Allah. The, just take the word. You are the one who mentioned the hate of me. He said okay. that you are useless. Correct? Useless. There's no. No, no, no. He didn't say that in the hadith. Okay, he the, said neither do you benefit, neither do you harm. Thank you very I much. You there's no benefit. It's me useless. The benefit. There's no benefit. It's me useless. Okay. Okay. So, but a second after you said the black stone is good to witness for us in the judgment day. So, did okay. Omar lie? My lie? hands are going to witness too. My eyes are going to witness too. No, so no, no, no. Your it. eyes, no. The, the black stone is good to witness for every Muslim is going to have a tongue and a mouth. Correct? Okay. So, what's wrong with okay. being a witness? So, no. Hold on. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying about, about wrong now. I'm saying that Omar Khattab, he just say that Muhammad is a liar because Omar he said there's no use of you okay yeah I understand but again you just mentioned the hadith and by by the way when it when it's mentioned mm -hmm. if you understand which I'm trying to teach you I don't know if you want to learn or not okay teach I me. study this stuff my friend I okay. know this stuff all right you teach me go ahead okay if someone be a witness for example let me give you an example this is not the question now this is not the question the question no, is I'm not jumping no, I'm, the I'm question sorry. is, Listen. Omar, he said you are useless, and you agreed. Listen. Muhammad, I'm, he says, I'm no, you are useless. Can I talk? You say, I'm uh, explaining to you. No problem. Let me explain. You, you are going to talk, but let us put the, the dots together. I'm, I'm, I'm not a person are you like with these the other Omar, Muslims. You are the one who like called for me, Omar. Muslims, you debate. Listen. No problem. These other Muslims you debate, they run topic to topic. They jump topic to okay, topic. Go, go ahead. I've been saying. watching these videos for a long time. These Muslims, I don't even know why they debate you. If they don't have knowledge, they don't know how to talk. Now, when you're debating someone like me, I will explain to you. Exactly. Explain to me. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah. Just give me a chance, please, Go ahead. Go ahead. with respect. Mm -hmm. Okay. If someone is a witness, for example, say you come to me and I say that I need you as a witness. Someone is giving me a problem. You're like, sure. What is going on? You're a witness. If you become a witness, what is that supposed to mean? We have witnesses in, in courts. We have witnesses everywhere. A black stone being a witness on the day of judgment doesn't mean you worship it. And Omar ibn Khattab clearly mentioned that neither do you benefit, neither do you harm. It's just a witness. For example, don't you know that your hands is going to be a witness? Don't you know your body is going to be a witness? Now you're going to tell me how can it speak? That's the power of Allah. How did Allah create us from a mingo drop of sperm in Surah Al-Insan in the Quran, right? If you read Quran, mm. I read Quran. I know it verse for verse. In Surah Al-Insan, Allah said he created us from a mingo drop of sperm. How? If we weren't created and you were told uh, that we are created from a mingo drop of sperm, how is that possible? Allah has done it. 
So the same thing, your hands can be a witness. Allah mm -hmm. can do that. Allah okay. can do everything with his power. All right. I done? don't know what the problem is. Okay, are you done? Yeah, and plus there is miracles. Do you not know about the the linguistic and historic miracles we, in the we, Quran? We will, go there. We, will go, we will go there and we will see if there's any. But let us, okay, focus, let's let us focus together. Do you remember in the first, the first thing you said to me when you called me? I said, well, your prophet kiss it. He said, I don't know. Correct? Yeah, I okay. don't know. So did your prophet kiss it because it's a witness? Well, I, again, I, I already answered you. I said, I don't know. Okay. Did you but prophet, if you want, okay, we hold can on. go into deeper did you, stuff. Did like you, okay, so listen, listen. You see? Do you not know about the miracles in Quran? Oh, oh you are changing topic now. Hold on. So I'm not. You're I'm not. Prophet. Okay, I'm so, with you. So you do not know why he kissed it. And Omar al-Khattab, he said, you are used as a stone. Then Muhammad, he says, is going to have eyes and is going to have a tongue. So it's useful, not useless. So Omar is exposing the lies of Muhammad. That this is false, this is stone is useless. But Again, just, you're assuming stuff. I'm you're assuming. assuming. That's no, no, no. Your this is what, this is what, it, it is you who quote the hadith for me. It's not me who chose it. It's right. you who I quoted the hadith right. to show you that we don't worship it. Exactly. Uh, Omar, <laughs> Omar, Omar, he don't worship it. Omar, Omar, he knew that this All is Muslims false. All don't. It's a no, kibla. No, no. You know what a okay, kibla so is? Okay, so why you kiss it? Okay, why you kiss it? Because this, because your prophet kissed it, I okay, follow him. You, you don't follow him. Why your prophet kissed it? You do not know. So you are following blindly a, a, a pagan prophet. No, no, no. no okay. No, no. So no. what is the what is the guarantee that Muhammad is not being pagan and he is kissing stone as a pagan? No, 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 no. You're you're completely wrong, my friend. Prove me wrong. The, you know you know why the black stone is there. Let's mention why it's why, there. Why it is there? It's a kibla. Do you know what a kibla is? No, tell me. A direction in which we pray. Which direction you pray? We, we pray towards Mecca. I'm sure you know that. If how, you study how, Islam. You, how you can pray toward Mecca if the earth is the flat? What do you mean? So what, what, is, what, is a, uh, what is a compass for, if you can explain? Well, compass will not take you to Mecca because the earth is the flat. No, 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 no. See, you, you get things you live, twisted. If you, look, if you live in look, Australia, let me explain. If you, if let you me live, explain. If you live in Australia, how you can face Mecca? Let me explain to you. <laughs> okay. I explain. Explain to me. Go ahead. I open the topic. I'll explain it. All right. Thank you. So if I if I'm driving on a car, uh -huh. I am one city away from another city. Why does the highway tell me north, south, east, west? Why? Because in that you are you are in that point. Exactly. Okay. So if I, for example, if I live in America, mm -hmm. for example, okay, and Mecca is what in Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. you look at the compass. There's mm -hmm. a Qibla. Which mm -hmm. way is the Kaaba facing? It's uh -huh. east. You pray in the direction of east. For example, it's not mentioned in Quran. No, in my friend, first and of I all, would know. It doesn't say you have to see it. First of all, first of all, first of all, the compass you are talking about is a fake map. It's not real. This is a map. Well, the we, compass, but that wasn't made by Muslims. I'm just not, letting I, you this know. Is not the, this is not the topic. We are saying it's a fake map and direction. We created those directions. So we call north in such a direction. We call south okay. in such a direction. But in reality, okay. if you live in Australia, and I will put for you, for everybody, the earth in the screen. If you live, okay. if you live in Australia or if you live in America, how you can face Mecca when Mecca is in the other side of the earth? I will go with you. I'm telling you. Let us say, I answered you okay. once. I'm answering you no, again. No, you are Listen. not answering. You are not answering. My I am friend. answering you. No, you are not. not. Here we go. Talk. Okay, here we go. This You're is this is. I, I, I will make. I will make a, a, a like an X on in the location of Mecca. This is Mecca here. All right. Let me make an X on it. Now, how you are going to pray to the direction of Mecca when you are in Brazil? What is your north or south would do? Is the are you going to go through the earth? Is your prayer going through the earth straight? Because Can I explain? The, because the earth is like a bowl. So in order for Can you... Can I explain? Okay, explain. Go ahead. Please, with all due respect, I don't want to be disrespectful. You know what I mean? It's... Go ahead. Don't, Listen. don't give me a speech. Go ahead. Listen. Mm. When, you, when you see Quran and Hadith, mm. correct? Mm. Okay. And when it's mentioned, there's nowhere where it's mentioned that when you pray, only for those people in Mecca that see the black stone directly, you know, mm. people that go for Hajj, they see it with their own eyes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So for them to pray in that direction, it's fine. But there is nowhere where it's mentioned that if you live in America or in Australia, I mean, we don't have powers with our eyes like that, that we see that far, that when you are praying, you have to see the black stone. 
with your eyes while you're praying. It says you pray in that direction like a compass. I don't know what part of that you don't understand. Okay, no what's problem. so hard? But like, it's no, like when you go on no a highway. Compass, why there's, no me? there's no compass can take you to Mecca. For, for, for you very simple, for, the no, there's no compass can take yes. you to Mecca in direction of a prayer. There because is. Because you you're, are you're not. No, that. you are not facing Mecca. You will never up. face Mecca. You see, okay, I will go with you. So now, if you are, uh, if you live in America, all right, which direction you have to pray? Say so you, <laughs> you pray in, you pray in New York. Which direction you pray? East. East. Okay. What is east to New York? It's in a space. You will hit the space. You will not hit no, Mecca. No, 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 All the way. Go all the way. My, my friend, this is the east. Mecca. The, Eventually the sun will Mecca. come. The sun will come from here. This is the east. Okay, so the east is in front of us. Is where the sun will come from. It's far away from Mecca. Where is Mecca? Mecca is in the other side. So how in the world the east is Mecca? Secondly, you said that you are praying the cab the black stone is exist for the direction. Correct. Correct, it's a Qibla. Can you show me the reference? Huh? Can you show me the reference that the black stone is made for that purpose? What do you mean? Okay, okay, can I show you the reference? That's the you, only purpose you said, it's there for. You, you said to Omar me, ibn Khattab you said to me, you, said to, you, said to, you see, you are repeating a hadith proving the opposite because if there's a benefit from it, show you direction then. So Omar ibn Khattab is a liar then. But there's no, 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 no. You, Omar, don't, don't say no, no, no. You said it's useless and you agree. You just called so him a liar. I don't respect to, if, what I he don't said. respect any of your, of your you needs. You just said that. Let's Listen, it's recorded. I, I, I don't you respect them. I don't respect them. I don't respect them. I'm saying I don't respect you, any. No, Umar ibn Khattab. A you liar, said I respect for sure, he's said. a liar. Because either he's a liar or Muhammad is a liar. Which one choose one? No, 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 no. no. He said. He said. He said neither does it benefit, neither does it harm. But Muhammad you just, just said. It'll but be you a just said. None you of those. You just said. You just said that the black stone shows us direction. Listen, listen, if someone did you just say, hold on, don't if, change, don't, don't, don't run. Hard, did you say, did you say I'm that not, the black stone run, show you, the, did run, you say I, the black stone show you direction? Yes or no? I'm, can I answer you? Did you say that? Yes or no? Yes. Can I answer okay. you? But Omar, he said it's useless. So no, 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 no. You know why he said that? <laughs> why? You know why he said that? Why? Go ahead. <laughs> the reason Omar Radi al in a Sahih al-Bukhari hadith uh -huh, of uh -huh. page 1597, Book of uh -huh, Hajj, uh -huh. clearly said that neither do you benefit, neither do you harm. If, Mar if our Prophet Muhammad hasn't kissed you, I wouldn't kiss you either. The only reason he said that so people like you know that we don't worship it. Hmm. That's why so, he said so, that. So you, are, so, you saying, you so you are saying Omar, he made a lie. To, in order to make us believe that we are you Muslims are not worshiping, but he was lying because there, no, this, no, 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 okay, no, is this, no, 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 let's go you back to zero. It. Let's go back to zero. You're is is this You're is, is this things. a stone made for the direction? Yes or no? It's made for direction. Okay, yes. show me the reference. What do you mean? Show me the reference. How that, do, how that, you that, know? Who, who is the one who told you this? Are you making things up? How, how am I making things up? You can ask any sheikh and any scholar. It's Don't, a uh, you know all I mean? the scholars, they have to bring reference. Give me the reference. I'm learning from you. You claim to be a sheikh. Everybody heard you saying that you are a sheikh. I, oh, I claim to be? So according to you, I'm not? Well, if you cannot prove the reference of what you are teaching your followers, that means you are a fraud because you have to teach Sunnah. Sunnah is what your prophet said to you and what he did, not what you claim. So can you show me from the Sunnah, from the Hadith or from the Quran that the black stone exists for that reason? It does. Well, so what reason does it exist for? Don't I ask, ask me. I'm asking you for reference for I something you, you claim. You see, you are, the, you are the sheikh who claims something. You have to prove it. I, and I'm asking you if, if that's not the reason. You what's see, the reason? You see now, so you are making things up. There's no reference, correct? I'm not. So what is the reason? You tell me. Don't th don't tell me what is the reason. I'm asking you. Where you get this from? What you just told me. A shake. It's it's a, a, a Every a shake, every Muslim. A shake, a shake. Every Muslim. Okay. Every Muslim. Sunni, Shia, or whatever they are. Pray towards Mecca. My friend. You know that. I know that. So why are we playing games? Okay. Every every Muslim prayed that direction to Mecca, but Mecca, not the black stone. The, the black stone is the Qibla. Okay. Mecca can you show me where in the Quran or in the Hadith it says the black stone is the Qibla? Okay. Okay. Let's let's let, 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 let's go further. 
let's mm. let's go further one second uh-huh. did, did, did you tell did you tell one of did you tell one of our people that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam does does not take a pure ablution you went don't, to a don't, hadith don't saying that don't change the he topic. took a wash and death dogs we, in the we, well we, will, we will go there don't change the topic you are a coward well of Buddha? no you, you I would are love you are running away you are running away we will go I promise you I promise you we will go there yes your prophet he take a shower with dead dogs and wounded blood from period now now listen listen Abdul don't change the topic where the reference where the reference you just mentioned to me Listen, please post this and I promise Where is the that. reference? Don't change the Don't change the topic. People please are, post this people hadith, are please. laughing at you. Where is They're the, not laughing at me. Please where, post this hadith. We will show the hadith. This hadith is fantastic. I love it. Dogs. I'm asking you, can you show me the reference of the black stone? There is no need for a reference to be for something like How that come, when we I, already know so it's now, a Okay, so now if I show if I say something and I don't have reference for it I, can I say to you, there's no need for reference? No, it's it's things. There's things that are common sense. I want to know okay. of this well of Buddha you said Ma, that are. Ab, so Washington. Abdul, so you are saying this is common sense, not knowledge of Islam. The every Muslim prays in that direction. My friend, I don't know what to tell you. Exactly. I'm trying to be very. Every Muslim pray in so the direction me. because the direction is the Kaaba, not the black stone. Well, no. When you go to Hajj, uh-huh. you pray r- to the black stone, my friend. You That's pray to the black stone. Guys, did you hear this? When you go to Hajj, you pray to the black stone. Did you say that? Towards. Towards. Ah, towards, towards. the black stone. Ah. Towards. So the, ka- the Kaaba so ka- is not important. The important is the black stone. Well, you pray towards that. Like I said, that's the Qibla. Okay, let me ask you. Is it true? That the black stone made in the shape of a vagina, and women that, they that, use that, that, that's your assumptions, and mm-hmm. I don't like to speak like that. No, no, no. This is no. This is not. This is this is this is not my assumption. It, it is your is, assumption. I know this stuff. If you know, you don't think I know. You okay. don't think I study okay. this is stuff. It, is it a true? Is it a true that Arab women they used to go naked around the Kaaba and they touch their vagina and they put their my hand. Friend. My friend, you're running away from the topic. You're telling I'm not. me I'm we are running. talking about Please the black stone. It is, it, is you, you. it is you Please who chose. It is listen, you who chose the listen. black stone we topic. Can't talk at Don't the same change. Time. We cannot talk. We um, cannot okay, talk I'm, I'm not talking in the same time. I'm one asking second, you. Is it a true? Second. Is it a true? Is it a true? Is it a true? Is it a true that Muslim women, or sorry, Arab women, they used to go naked around the Kaaba and they touch their vagina. They touch their. Can you please give me one minute? They touch their vagina. No, I want you to say it's true. True or no? Is it true or no? Please give me a minute. Is it true Can I or no? Can it, I, answer? I, I will give you ten minutes. Is it true or no? Please listen, man. We're here to have a discussion. This we is are not having a thing. discussion. You are refusing to did, answer. You jump to talk okay, about ablution because listen, you are trying to change person? the topic. You, you listen. listen. Answer. Is it true? Is it, is it a true? Is it a true that women me, they used to touch their vagina? Let me answer. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Please. Did, did, did I, as a sheikh, tell you to meet me in person? Did I say that? Don't change topic. I waited for an answer. I'm expecting an answer. Did I say that? Be honest. I don't, I want, I don't, I... I don't care for this. Answer me. Is it true women touch their vagina when they have their period and they put it in the black stone? Yes or no? Show me the hadith. You know, I'm saying to you, you are a sheikh. Already you know the answer. Yes or no? Is that a true or a lie? Yes or no? You're making things up. Okay, so you just said I'm making things up, correct? Right. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you the link, and I want you to read in the front of everybody, and I will put it in the screen. Everybody will see in a second, give me a second, that you are no sheikh, and you do not know your religion, or you are imposter, or you know and you are trying to hide the truth. Here we go. I will post the link for everybody. I will give it to you first in Skype. Here we go. I will put it in the screen. And you read it. And now don't tell me it is in Arabic and you do not know Arabic because you just said you are sheikh. So if you are a sheikh who do not know Arabic, people will die laughing. Do you know Arabic? Hello? Hello, yes. I'm waiting for you. I gave you the link. 
You don't want to answer me and my I question. gave you, you the link. You, you said to me, show me the reference. I gave you the reference. Just answer my question. Did he take a wash? Do you, well know, do you, or know, not? Do you know Arabic or not? Did he take a wash in what dogs so or you not? You are a person who claimed to be a sheikh, but you do not know Arabic. Is that accurate? I don't know Arabic. I don't know Arabic. I don't know. Then read for me the reference. I gave you a link. It's in the front of us Arabic. in the screen. It's in the my front. Friend, it's in the front of friend. us in the screen. Go ahead. Don't waste my listen, time. Re read. Listen. Read. You're wasting my time. Read. Otherwise, you're I will, I will squeeze time. you three times like like Jabir squeezed Muhammad. I'm warning listen, you. Listen. You're wasting my read. time. You make you false are, accusations. Don't, don't hang up and run. You coward. You are a liar. You do not know Arabic. You do not know Arabic. Otherwise, prove me wrong. Read the reference. It's in the front of you. you. You claim you claim that chapter. Listen, listen. Don't change the topic. Don't deceived, change right? the topic. Don't change the topic. We are talking about the black stone. Does it say in Arabic? I I, that, I answered that, that the women one, they I, touch their vagina when they have their period. I, I when they have their period, one, and I this is why the black stone. The, I want you to read. Can you read? I please? gave you the hadith. Of can Umar you ibn read? Khattab. Can you read? Please. Can you read? I gave you the hadith of Umar the ibn Black Khattab. Is, no, I'm saying you said to me that this is a lie. I made it up when I said to you, women they touch their vagina when they have their period and they touch the black stone. You said it's a lie. And you asked me for reference. And now I gave you reference. And now you refuse to read the reference. What's wrong with you? Because you do not know Arabic. You are a fraud. No, 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 no. I know Arabic. You, you claim, don't know Arabic. Okay, you're the you one claim, that can't read. You claim to be sheikh. Okay, read for us. Here we go. Reference in the screen. Read for us. You, you, you want to jump from read, topic to topic. Read for us. You want to jump from topic to topic. I am topic. not. The topic is the black the stone. The topic the is the black stone. This was your choice. And we are talking about the black stone. Is it true? Show says, me the hadith where Muhammad took a wash in dirty Abdul, water. I want to see that. Don't, we will show it to you. No problem. Answer this one. We will go. Me, after you read this one, first. I Please, promise you, after you read this one, will take you less than 60 seconds. Uh, read you this one. Take that out the way. Show read, me that read, first. read this one. You are a coward trying to change the topic. Everybody is dying laughing at you. Show me. Show me. People are laughing at you. That you you're not know Okay. Why do you want to read the hadith? Right? Okay. Listen. Listen. Are you so, blaming? So do you agree with you're me? You're blaming. So do you agree with me that the the reference of your Islamic reference is that the black stone became black because of women blood from period? Do you agree or not? No. 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 I don't agree with you. Okay. Then read the reference. I give you. Show reference. me. Show me the hadith. I'm showing you. It's on screen. Read it. No. Show me the hadith. I of gave it, I a gave you the link. I gave you the link. It's in the front of you and the reference in the front of us. I give it to you in Skype. You're a liar. I can show it in the screen. The well of Buddha. What Buddha? What you, Prophet Muhammad, took you, a wash in you dead dogs idiot. or not? We are yes talking no? about the black stone. Yes, your prophet, he took a shower with dead dogs. Okay, hold on. Can do you, you show me Do that? you promise me? Do you make a promise? Do you swear by Allah that if I show it to you, we go back here? Do you promise? Let's, let's go through that first. No, no, do you promise? What? Do you promise if I show you the hate you're asking for, we go back right away here and then we continue later about that one? I can't promise by, by saying I swear by Allah because first of all you're not a Muslim. <laughs> you're not. I'm not. You think you're I'm going to swear to Allah, Allah, not to me? So you can't swear by Allah if I'm not a Muslim? <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. You're so, not. So, so okay. Do you promise a promise of a man that if I show you the hadith that your prophet taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period, we go back right away here to read the reference? Do you promise? If you get me stuck on that question, we'll come back over here. You, if are, I answer you are a you coward. Question, you are a coward. No. You are trying to run away. This is why no. you want me to go no, there. No, no, no. I'm then, not trying to run away. Then we are going, going to away. stay here. You are if a potato. Everybody is. The, I if mean, you go to that uh, uh, listen, listen. You claim to be a sheikh. What's your name? Huh? What's your name as a sheikh? You're sheikh. You don't need to know my name. You're the one that don't even show your she, face. She, you want to know she, my name? Are you sheikh Osman wearing burqa now? What? Why you don't show your face? Huh? Are you wearing burqa like Allah? I'm not Sheikh Uthman. Don't don't make accusations. I don't know. You know I'm not him. You sound, you sound stupid him. like because you sound stupid like Uthman. <laughs> Uthman would be, Uthman okay, would so listen, him. you and Uthman, Uthman are a bunch of you. potatoes, and now read for us. You are no Sheikh and you are a potato. You don't know Arabic. Read the reference. Well, you don't even say, you don't even believe read, he's a Sheikh. Read Why the reference. You None of you is a Sheikh. All of you are a businessman making money from the business. Now I'm asking you, can you read the reference? 
<laughs> can you're you, very funny. Can you please read the reference? You ask me, you challenge me for reference. I'm showing you a reference on the screen. People want to read it. Show me the hadith of the well of Buddha, please. The people are dying no. laughing at okay, you. You no, don't want to no. show it. You want to make accusations with kids. With kids, you want to make accusations. You don't want to show me the hadith? Ah, I don't want you to show You show other hadith. Muslims. You don't show me? Show me the hadith. I show it in the, I show it in the I stream 24 hours, 7 days a week. <laughs> <laughs> huh? So show me, show me. I challenge you. Okay, show me, show me. Show me. I try to get away from that hadith because everybody show is me. laughing at you. Show me. You show and the Muslims. Okay. And, and you know what I, what I, I find I'm funny? Not, you be very so show polite. me, show me. Okay, I'm, sh okay, no, I'm showing you. Okay, hold on, hold on. You be very polite to the okay, Muslims, right? That I don't know am, Islam. But you want to be rude towards me, right? Potato. I'm right? Okay, now I'm showing you. I'm showing you. It's in the front of you. You want okay, to you. You run to that topic? It's in the front if you read it. I don't see anything. I don't on Skype. It's in the screen. It's in YouTube. Look, read with me. Okay. Mm. Go ahead. Okay. So the first one we confirm, this guy, he refused to read because it says it clearly in Arabic that the black stone became black because of women's blood from period. So women, they used read, to place... Read the hadith. Don't yeah. run away. So read no, this. no, we confirmed the first one. And now read the Go ahead. We read it. Your, your English is better than mine. Go ahead. I clearly don't see it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, what? there it is. There, I got it now. Oh, okay. It was said, O oh Allah's Messenger, hmm. shall we use the water of Buddha hmm. well to perform ablution while it is a well in which maintains of dogs and the putrid are dumped? Allah's Messenger said, Indeed, water is pure. Nothing makes it impure. Okay. No. Uh, the answer to this, if you're smart enough, hmm. which obviously we scholars know you claim to be a scholar, is this okay. is a stream. Water and streams run. Oh, okay. Hope you understand that. Ah, can you can, can you show me a reference? That that is the reference Where? you saw it with your eyes. Where? That and in the. No, it says a will. It says a will of water, not a stream. Uh, a well not be a stream are you serious a well cannot be a stream don't okay. make a fool out of yourself oh, hold on. so are you saying to me there's a stream of water and people they throw garbage in it in mecca but i thought mecca is a desert and people will not do that it, it doesn't matter the bottom line is with garbage in there if it's a stream okay, okay. the water is pure for example that, do you swim in a okay. lake does the stream have a size or it is running stream do you swim in a lake okay is it a lake how big? How big this? Uh... Do you swim in a lake? I'm asking you. N n no, I don't swim in the lake. Since Muhammad is swimming. You don't. You so don't swim in a lake or a river. No, no, no river. Yeah, not. Uh, yeah. Okay. Isn't uh, if you pee in that water, would you still swim? Okay. In is there? It, how, how, I mean, people how, do it how every big... day. So, are you saying this is a lake? It's a stream. Okay. I didn't say it's a lake or a river. So does don't it, put words okay, in my it, mouth. It, I never if, said that. If it's a stream, is it? Uh, does it have a size? Or it's stream running, keep running. Is the, is the size confirmed? I'm asking you. Is there a size for oh, it? No, I, I don't know. You are a sheik. You are answering me. You are refuting me. You are your own true topic. I, you I, are the one who changed that, the topic. That's not the bottom line. The bottom so, line here is it's okay. a stream. The mm -hmm. water. Okay, you, first of all, you failed to show me a stream. That's a lie. Secondly, I have reference. It says how big it is. And that will get you busted, Abdul. Shall I show no, you? No, I won't get you busted. Here it doesn't go. matter. It's, I'm sure Here it's not go. the size Here of a go. bath. Here we go. It says that I'm this sure is a, this is a bad bath. this is a bad water and it is a small. It is not even few arms wide. So why are you lying saying it's a stream? It's a body of water. Read with me. This is the hadith. And this is Sahih. Hadith number. Sunat Ibi Dawood. Hadith number 67. Your prophet is taking a shower in a water measured six cubit in the breathe and does not even reach the testicles in height. And in the same water have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage. You lie, you say, it's a lake. Exactly, you lie, exactly. you say, you it's a stream. Yourself. But you it is it yourself. is not. Okay, so now, you so now you are saying we have a six cubit of water. It's in size of a jacuzzi, big jacuzzi. And there's dead dogs in it, in it and women of blood from period and no. garbage. And it's okay for Muhammad no. to jump there. <laughs> no, because it's a stream. It's well, a stream. Okay, hold on. Let us say there's a stream, and that stream is six cubit of water, but there in the top of that stream, there's dead dogs, women of blood from period, and garbage, and Muhammad is with them. 
the water, the, my friend, the water, <laughs> so the water is pure because it's running First of all, you coward, water, you cannot call me, you coward, you cannot call me, my friend. The chapter 5, verse 51 says, date not Christians and Jews as a friend, you are a hypocrite like Uthman. Secondly, the one who eat the Quran, you give him a hand and you say to him, cool. Because he ate the Quran. Now you are doing the same to wait, me like Osman. Abdul, what you, Abdul what potato, said. potato, potato, Abdul repeat potato. What you said. Potato, don't get out. This is the measurement and it is not a stream. Can you show me the word stream there? Wait, wait, you said I cannot Can call you as a friend. Can you show me the word you stream? You said I cannot call you as a friend? No, you cannot. Exactly, according to the Quran, correct? Correct. I know that surah more than you. Mm. I so know why, the Quran so and Hadith you call me friend? you. So why you Do you think friend? that when I called you, I was calling you from the heart or sarcasm? Ah, <laughs> so he was lying. He didn't mean it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So you are lying. Okay, I got it. No. So now, no, it was sarcasm. can you show me where it says it's a stream? It is a stream. That, where, where, that, that's, where? That's okay. A stream is not a well of You're water. Secondly, this is this is a you stupid it's idiot. Not the problem. You stupid idiot. This is a dead water, dead body of water. This is why they are throwing garbage there. Mecca is a is a is a city, is a town have a very nah, little nah, nah, water. Nah, 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 nah. So you're very scared. Nobody will throw garbage in a water when I can you. be used. When this I is you. this is water when I from garbage. So now listen what happened. Each time we show you reference. Each time each time we show you reference. Now let's talk about the miracles you run, of Quran. You run you away. Scared. Here we go. You're scared. No, you see, you call me. You said to me, you want to talk about the black stone. And yeah, then, in the miracles and, of Quran, and then, you and then you to run from it, and then you jump you. to this hadith. So we jump with you, and then now you don't want to read it. So you're a prophet taking shower with dead dogs and women, brother, from period in a small, small size of water. It's running water. You can Show, say that. Okay, where it says it's where it says it's a running water. Prove me wrong. Because first of all, it's a well. Okay, there you go. Is well is running water? Certain ones, yes, maybe you haven't seen them. I have. No problem, no problem. I have seen many. Well, no problem. But this one, if it's useful, Arab will not throw garbage in it. Have you ever seen people in the desert throwing dead dogs, women, blood of them, period, in a hole and there's water they can drink from it? Nobody would do that. It's a desert. Exactly. If it's not running water, no one would do that. So ah, so if, water, so, if, so if it's running water, so if it's running water, we throw dead dogs there? In the world, they will stay there. First of all, this is 1400 years ago. My Abdul, friend. Abdul, how it is a whale and how Muhammad is jumping in it? It says it, you make so much accusations. You made accusations. Do you see? Do you see? It says. Do you see? It says. And measured six cubic blue. Do you see, Abdul? Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Do you see? It says it's a six cubit of water. So it's not a whale, it's little, little tiny, it doesn't matter, okay. you're talking so about it is not stuff, running water, the bottom line is because it's running, running water, water, running, running water will be open, it's, you cannot size it, it's a stream, you cannot size it, you cannot measure it, we can say it's 10 kilometers maybe, it's a stream of water, but this is a little container of water in the ground, it's not really deep, it's not even the, to the height of your testicles, can you see it? My friend, this is just giving description. Are you exactly, guys? It's just giving description. It's just giving description. This is what we are talking about the description. So it is little, it is not even to the height of your testicles. And stop calling me friend, you idiot. You just told me you are lying. You don't mean it. No, 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 no. What do you want me to call you? The princess? Call <laughs> you, are, you a shape of the man? Call you, 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 you the princess? You are the princess like your prophet. Is it true that your prophet used to wear women clothing? Yeah, that, that 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 that's not authentic. Ah, I know so you agree? About. Okay, so you agree that Muslims they say not authentic. is what you said that Muhammad wear panty of Aisha. Second, is it true your prophet he pissed like a woman? These stuff are not authentic. Of uh, what if I show you the hadith? Uh, when you go to when you go to the hadith, well, obviously someone like you wouldn't know, but scholars would know. Like ah, me, for example. What if I show uh, you? What if I show you? What if I show you? Look at the chains of narration. Okay. What if? Uh, okay. How you? Uh, let me ask you. How your prophet used to be, standing or sitting? Sitting. But you just say this is false. <laughs> what the, the hadith that you're quoting has to be. Has <laughs> okay. To be by forget the about this one. Okay. Forget about this one. Did, did your prophet put eyeliner on him? 
No, no, don't jump. Don't jump to a topic. You are, the one who mentioned topic princes. you are the one who mentioned princes. You are the one who mentioned princes. Is it you that your prophet he allow men to kiss no, him no, down? No. I said that. When did I it, say that? Don't put words in my you mouth. You said the princess. You are trying to insult me. I you said, said what I said about listen, that. Is listen, I said listen, listen, listen. Is, that. It, is, it, is, it true? is it true that your prophet he allow men to kiss him down his belly? And he was a princess. Can 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 I say something? You can please. say something. Is that true or not? You please. are the one who mentioned. Can I the word. say something? I'm please. asking you. Can you can please? Can I say something? Can you please answer? Is it true that men they kiss your prophet down his belly and they lift up his shirt so they can touch his body and kiss him? Hey, look, 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 my friend. You, you, you. What are you trying to make a joke over here or a debate? No, I'm showing a reference. A, a joke or a I'm debate? You I'm want a debate? I'm showing a reference. Don't, don't I'm showing a reference in the screen. Can you read it or not? Listen, don't make a joke. I'm not, fool I'm not yourself, making a joke. Okay? You're a prophet. Don't. Your prophet is a homosexual. I'm saying it loud and clear. Listen. Listen. Did you not once? Did don't you not change once the topic. It is, you who, it is you. Salam it is you. 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 who mentioned. It is you. It is you who mentioned the burqa. It's you who mentioned my insult. And now I'm asking you: Is it true, your prophet? He lift up his right, shirt right, right, so right, a man right, he right. can no, touch him and kiss him there. Friend. I called you. Listen. Friend. Okay. You, answer, you. Okay. Answer. I, let us say I'm making a lie. Let us say I'm making a lie. Can, shouldn't you refute the lie? The hadith in front of me says that your prophet, he I was, you and he I was hugging a man and touching accept. a man, and the you man asked him, and the man he asked him to lift up his shirt. The you, prophet he you left his don't shirt, accept. and now he became topless. So now the prophet is being touched by a man, hugged by a man, and the man is kissing him down his belly. Is that Where a lie? Where are you getting this or, information from? It's in the front of you on the screen. It's authentic. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Read it. So why it's a new website? He says it's authentic. <laughs> yes, it is. Here we go. Here we go. Let me show you the reference. Here we go. It says. Read carefully. Read. This is yours, Muslim website. By the way, I I, I enjoy debating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Turkey. No, no problem. Read it. Yeah, I enjoyed the video. Read it. One second. You say it. You, you make a fool out of yourself. No problem. Everybody laughing. We are recording this. It's going to be all over the internet. All of your videos are. I know that. I'm aware. No problem. There's many Muslims that busted you. Exactly. All of you, you bust me. I like, like what you did today. You made a big bust today. <laughs> you're so scared. When I open answer, a topic, read, you're scared to answer. Read. You are scared to answer read. when I open a topic. But I have to go with you. Why do I have to go Abdul, with you? Abdul, Abdul, it's you who mentioned this. I'm all no, going I with you. Okay. This. Okay. I then let us lie. go back. No, okay. No, now, so now let us go back to the black stone. Is it true that women no. they touch their vagina no, 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 and they no, no, no. place I their hand? You. Uh, what I told it you, is you, I'll tell you what I meant. and you said you were talk about the black stone. Talk at the same time. No, we, we can. Have a no, we can. You time. are a coward. You are a muta boy. Are you going to answer? This is the topic you chose. It's, you said you want to talk about the black I'm, stone. I'm asking you. So now you I'm asking you. Does it say? Can does it say in the front of us in your Islamic books? Does it say? This is your Islamic book. This is your Islamic book. Does it say or I'm lying? Be quiet for one second. Does it say or I'm lying that women they touch their vagina and place their hand full of blood on the black stone? Can you be quiet for one second? Is it true or not? Is it true or not? Please. Please. No, please, no, please, no, please. You have to answer. You are a coward. You jump like a monkey. This is what you do on the internet. You don't give people the chance to talk. Did you say you want to talk about the black stone when you call me? Yes or no? And I answered you. I answered you with one hadith of Umar ibn Khadab that destroyed your whole argument. Okay, hold on. So you're a prophet. He kissed a black stone, which women they used to have blood on it, and this why it became black, correct? No, 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 no. It became black because of our sins. It was white as exactly. milk. Exactly. No, hey guys, the, black, the stone was white and the stone became black because of sin. Explain. Allah can do that. No, explain. Allah can do that. Uh, I no don't know. No problem. How the stone became black? Why not blue? Why not red? Uh, uh, Allah made it black. Okay, so sin make you black? Sin make you black. No, 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 no. So then if it was blue, you would say sins make you blue. Hmm? If it was yellow, you would say sins make yes, you Yes, okay. yes, yes. I'm asking you now. <laughs> Why black? Why black? Why black? I don't know. Is it true that I don't know. Is it true your prophet he said that the black people are created to go to hell and white people created to go to heaven? 
don't go over there. See, you Why jump. Not? You not? jump again. No, we are now talking about, we are talking about, about the color. No, okay, the, the, go back then to here. Is it, does it say in Arabic? Why you don't read to us in Arabic? You claim to be a sheikh. Is that because you do not know Arabic and you are lying? I, uh, you, you, you say this to everyone. Okay, read. Muhammad Hijab read to you in okay, Arabic. Read. No, no, no. You, I'm, I'm, you Muhammad, listen that. No, Muhammad Hijab, I heard him many times speak in Arabic. I never said to him, you do not know Arabic. You are a coward potato. I'm asking you, do you know you Arabic? You didn't say that? You, you, you didn't say that? No, he, he's an Egyptian. How do you not know Arabic? Who? Muhammad Hijab, he speaks Arabic, he's an Egyptian. He knows how to speak Arabic. Yes, I'm asking you now. You claim to be Sheikh. I'm not going to, don't hide behind Mimi and Fifi. I'm asking you, you. You claim to be a Sheikh. Uh, and by the you way, claim, you know, by the you, way, I you, saw that you, debate you, with you, claim, you and him, you, you ran claim, away. You, claim you ran away. Uh, okay, no problem. He hang up on me, you idiot. That's not me who ran away. You ran away. <laughs> he hang up on me. Now answer. He told you to read Surah Tawbah, verse 31. <laughs> Everyone saw it. You never read it. <laughs> I did. You never read it. I did. I did. He was playing my video. You stupid. He was playing my voice. Why would you do it twice? <laughs> really? If he did that, that's wrong. He was if he playing. Did that, that's wrong. Okay, but I so want to see the stupid son of Muta. Are you going to read the reference in Arabic yes or no? I'm telling you something. You're wasting so my you're time and you're wasting read, your time. So what I'm trying to tell you is, to did, us, you, do you know did you Arabic? say, did you, you know, say, one second, one second, one second, yes, do you know what is Arabic? wrong with Yes or no? You said yes. Read for us. Did you say Coward. Did you say, for example, coward. did you say you that Muhammad is the first one to be resurrected? Yes or no? Yes. In the Sahih Bukhari Hadith, right? I will show you the hate, no problem. But what does this have to do Please with Please post that so people can see. I want people okay. to see that. Read the reference. I will grab the reference for you. Read this reference for us first. Okay. Go ahead. Read. Go go over there. What is wrong with you? Why why does Read it have to the be reference you? Why about you go to that? Blood different period? Coward, son of Muta. Why, why don't you go to that? Why don't you go Listen, to that hadith? We will show you. You keep asking me to show you hadith. I show it to you. I never said no. So show show okay. us. I, I will answer you. I want you, you to show. I showed you, you my show reference. You. Okay, this is my reference. I will answer you. This is my reference. Read it. I will answer you on read. how how okay, the first it. one to okay, be resurrected. Okay, okay, read. This is a different hadith. Read the hadith. This is different. How you know it's different? Read it for us. This is this is not the one with him being resurrected. I'm right? asking you to read. How you know? Read it. Hmm? Read it. How you know? Read it. I already know. Uh, okay, it read says it. that uh, he is the first one to be resurrected. Okay, read it. Read it. Okay. So, re re the okay, read it. So to see if this is not the one. He, I don't even see the screen, my friend. I'm asking I'm you, no, you, you see the screen, you are a coward, and I gave you the link. No, 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 you are scared, I you're am, scared. I am, I'm asking you, please, can you read it? Uh, I am telling you right now, I'm answering you, I'm that ask, Muhammad asking you, I'm asking is the first you, I'm one to be resurrected, you. but he saw Musa alayhi salam holding the throne. What is okay. your problem with that? Okay, um, okay, no problem, here we go. So guys, he is a person, he asked me for a reference to show okay correct and he said if i show him the reference he promised he will read it correct okay do you promise in the front of everybody no i didn't make the promise but you're making accusations okay but do you promise me you will read it this one about muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam being yeah. the first one to be resurrected yes hmm? yes Okay, yes, I already told you, yes, he's the first one to be resurrected, but he saw Musa alayhi salam holding the throne, and I'm asking you, what is wrong with that? You asked me to show you the reference, so why you are saying, so how he what is... What is wrong with that hadith, okay, because you on. were debating uh, okay. Muslims saying okay. there's a I problem want, with I that want hadith. To, I want you to read the reference, go ahead. Exactly, read I read it. The, read the, the no, no, read it. No, what no, is read wrong it for us. It? No, read the reference for us. Here we go in front of your what screen. What is wrong with it? Read it for I us. I know the hadith. No, He's you do not know it. Okay, read it for us. Okay, okay, read it for us. Read it for us in Arabic. Go ahead. What is wrong with it? You read tell it me it for first. us in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? You do not know Arabic. That's why you are avoiding. Read it for us. What is wrong with it? It says here. It says in the front of me. فَإِنَّهُ يُنْفَخُ فِي الصُّورِ. Continue reading. Go ahead. He doesn't even know how to read Arabic. No problem. Look, look what he just said. <laughs> okay, go, go ahead, read. Okay, read it all of it. You cor correct me. Go ahead. <laughs> I correct you. You don't listen. How? Well, correct me. Go, go ahead, read. 
correct. I'm asking you. Okay, I promise. Let me make a okay, promise. Okay, read the reference. I'll make a promise with There's you no, now. I'll why, make a why, promise. Why are you, are you only being I'll like, make a promise. You are just a stupid kid. You are just a stupid kid. You are just a You are just a stupid kid like Othman. Why you don't read it? I'm making a promise with you. You okay. said make a promise. Why you don't read if it? If you answer me on this question, I make a you promise. You're the one who asked me to share the reference for this one, and now you don't want to read it. Read it. I am. I'm saying okay. what is wrong with it. Just answer no, me. No, no, no. Read it. Read it. Read it so we can see what's wrong with it. Read it. Oh my goodness! Oh, don't say oh my goodness. Say, say, oh you my the Arab. one that talks don't say, about oh my it. Now say, you say, say oh my black stone. Now read it. You coward. You don't know Arabic. You're a liar. You you you're making a fool out of yourself. Okay, then read it. Read it. <laughs> read it. Come on, people are laughing. I'm asking you what is wrong with Re the hadith. Okay, read it. Where's the hadith? I don't see a hadith. Do you see a hadith? I just showed you something in Arabic. How you know listen, how how listen, do you know that this is the hadith? Listen, how listen. you know that this is the hadith? Hmm? How you know that this is the hadith I'm talking about? Did you read it? The Sahih al Bukhari hadith. I'm not looking at your screen. I'm no, you are looking at my screen and you are a you are a coward liar. I swear by Allah you did not look at the screen. Again, you're not Muslim. Ah, no point. swear to Allah, not to me. I'm saying swear to Allah. I'm not talking as crazy. Swear to the Muslim. There's many Muslims in the in the in the YouTube. Swear to the Muslims. Yeah, and the in the stupid ones you debate when they pick when you pick up the phone, they say assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Son of Muta. No wonder you call yourself Fatima. <laughs> Fatima, Sheikh Fatima, who is the one wearing burqa? You burqa people, coward. You are a sheikh. So the reason the prophet is the black stone because it shows us direction. <laughs> Where do you get this reference from? This is common sense. Hey, uh, Uthman, boy, Uthman, the Muta boy, do you agree with your boy? This is your friend. He's a sheikh with you. You know, from the same Muta mosque. <laughs> you know, he called us. <laughs> Hello? 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 Okay, my friend, you I cannot hear anything. So you see, guys, how stupid this cult is. Cowards. The prophet, he did not worship the stone, but kissing a stone is an act of worship. Why you kiss it? Because the prophet kiss it. I don't know why. Later, he had to come with a solution. He says, because of direction. But if we go in the Quran, you dummy, you claim to be sheikh. The Quran said that the Kaaba is made for the direction, not the black stone, you dummy. Coward liar ignorant who do not know hello hello why is there bullying no? yeah, this guy is stupid this is ultimate fort the kid stealing the internet from his neighbors even the quran confirm that he is a liar Do we have any Muslim? Wanna answer why Muslims are lying when they talk about their prophet? So look what we confirm. We confirm that Muhammad he took a shower with dead dogs in little body of water. We confirm that Muhammad is mentally ill by doing that. We confirm it's not even six cubit size. We confirm from their books, not from our books. We confirm there's no way that a, a, a stream of water people will throw. You know this is Mecca. This is Mecca. It's not. A city in the, in the in the in the Amazon River area where there's a lot of water, they not know what to do with it. Water is a priceless in the desert, uh, and there's no way people will throw dead dogs and women blood and their garbage and stink in such a water. This is the Quran, you donkey, who claim to be a sheikh, and you claim to be know in Arabic, and we got you busted. You do not know a single word in Arabic.
This is the verse speaking about where you direct your face to the Kaaba, not to the black stone. You are a certified idiot. And as you see, everything we say here, we have reference. Women, they touch their vagina and their vagina full of blood. And they believe those women before Islam that the reason they are not getting the babies, that's why they have their period, because they are sinners. That's why Muhammad, he said that the black stone became black because of the sin of mankind. That is women who commit sin. This is their understanding. This is why they cannot have babies. So what they do, they go around the Kaaba totally naked, wearing nothing, and they sing. If you read my book, Sex and Allah, you will see that Muhammad, even he saw a woman who was walking around the Kaaba singing, and she was totally nude, showing her breast and her vagina and her bum. And Muhammad, after he saw her, after he saw her, he forbid women to go naked around the Kaaba because he wanted her to be in his bed. He was jealous that men are seeing her naked. Ask yourself, what kind of a prophet? He did not forbid. Yes, Abdul. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Hello, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Okay, beautiful brother. Mm -hmm. Can I call you my friend? I don't know. Can you? Are you a Muslim? Yes, I am. Are you the same guy? Who I just, believe... Are you the same guy who just called me, or a different person? What do you mean? Who? Oh, there's a person called his his voice clear, close to you. Okay, maybe it's not you. So you are a Muslim, no, my friend? Can different, you... diff different Muslim, my friend. Okay, and can you say Shahada? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Can I just ask you one question, please? Okay, but can you say Shahada first because I want to see if you are a Muslim. What do you mean? I'm not as knowledgeable as the other Muslims, but no, no, I just no, have saying, one question you for you. Say, can you say Shahada? CP, CP, don't let me like this, man. Can please, just answer my question. Can you say Shahada? CP, please. Can you say Shahada? CP, don't be like. Can you CP, say? Why are you, you going to say Shahada? Are you a Muslim CP, or not? Please. Are you a fake Muslim? CP. Are you a fake Muslim? CP. Say Shahada. What's CP. wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why don't say Shahada? <laughs> just a kid. Some of them don't want to say Shahada, why? Get lost. I have no time for kids. Any real Muslim? If we go even in their books, the yellow pages of Muhammad and his followers, it says it clearly that the Arab, they go around the Kaaba totally naked, wearing nothing. This is a sexual Kaaba. It was a station of sex. Sexual religion. And this is Sahih Muslim. Very authentic hadith. They go around the Kaaba totally naked. Yeah, this is called the, the person from Indonesia. I don't know if he's still there. We promise him to call him back. Yes, my friend. I apologize. It took me long to go to get back to you. So Sorry. What, uh, so what do, I you, have what do you think? What do you think? You were listening to this conversation with me and with some Muslims. Uh, sorry, I after mute YouTube. Are you muted? What do you want to say? I'm saying, did you hear the Muslims who called me just a few minutes ago? Yes. Okay. What do you uh, think about those Muslims? From Sunni. No, okay. I don't like Sunni. You don't like Sunni. Yes. Okay, let me ask you, did you see the, the video of the Sheikh who said that Muslims Sunni they are homosexual because Allah, he don't protect their anus? Did you see the video? No. Well, he said in the I video, don't... I can show you the video actually. He said in the video okay. that, that uh, Muslim Sunni, because they are not Shia, huh? when they are born, uh, their shaitan will come to them. And shaitan come to everybody. But because they are not Shia, 
uh, the Allah will not protect their angels. Is is that from Quran? No, or this is from the hadith. from the hadith. Yeah, from the hadith. Jafar, Jafar, Imam Jafar said that. Jafar, this is from the okay. descendant of your prophet. So he said because they are not Shia, uh, Shaitan he plays his finger in their anus and he make them homosexual. What do you think? I think uh, it's wrong, right? Yeah, but you are Shia. Yes. And he is but, a Shia Sheikh. This is Shia books teaching. But my scholar never, you know, teach me more. Like you said right now, they never talk about this. They just, you know, talk in the masjid. Hmm. Well, let me let me show you the video so you can see with me how the sheikh he explained and then you know how Shia they dress right you know how they dress so you know for sure yes. this is a Shia and his name is Yasser al Habib he's a very famous sheikh big sheikh big sheikh big like you know very very big you know it's like five hundred kilograms so okay the, so he was explaining what happened to you if you are not Shia so you are safe by the way you are not a homosexual because you are Shia obviously according to the story. So listen carefully what he said. Okay. Time of, uh, uh, you know, his mother giving birth to him. Is this English, right? Listen. Okay. One of the sa one of the satans he will be exist in the time of giving birth for this new infant. This is a must. Okay. Go ahead. فإن علم الله أنه من شيعتنا إن علم الله أن هذا المولود من شيعتنا حجبه من ذلك الشيطان. If Allah knew, which is very funny. I mean, so Allah do not know. I thought Allah is the one who decide if he will be Shia or Sunni. So if Allah he knew that this baby or new baby, newborn baby, he is going to be a Shia, Allah will hide him from Shaitan. That's it. The shaitan who is there, yes, he is in the, in the room, but because he is Shia, Allah will hide him. Okay. Allah will put a veil on him so shaitan cannot see him. So shaitan, when Allah he hide this baby because he's a Shia, that's why Allah protect him. Shaitan cannot punish him, and he cannot do harm to him. وَإِنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ مِنْ شِيَعَتِنَا And if he is not a Shia, أَثْبَتَ الشَّيْطَانُ إِصْبَعَهُ السَّبَّابَةَ فِي دُبُرِهِ And then, if he is not a Shia, which means a Muslim Sunni, like Abu Bakr, uh, Umar, all those Muslim Sunni, you see them in YouTube, Allah will make the Shaitan put his finger in their anus. فَكَانَ مَأْبُونًا And that will make him a gay. Okay, so you heard this. What do you think, my friend? This is your sheikhs teaching in TV, and you are a Shia, that all Muslim Sunni are homosexual, and the reason, because they are Sunni. And the reason they are homosexual, when they are born, Shaitan, he put his finger in their anus. What do you think? Yeah, this is wrong. This is wrong. So why you don't want to leave Islam? I mean, why, what, what make you stay as a Muslim? I don't know. Shouldn't you say I'm out of because Islam Because right I'm still, you know, confused. And also, it's hard for me to leave Islam, you know. Why? Because my family, my friend, they will hate me. So what? And let my family... It's hard. Let me, you, know, you, know, you know how many people, including even from my family, they hate me for what I do? Because people, they will not... People, they want a normal life, uh, not to be truthful. Just go with the, with the, you know, with the waves. Whatever the waves take, you go with them, go with the uh, people are perfectly correct, be perfectly correct, you know. So many people hate me for what I'm doing. But who care? I'm, you know, as long as I am doing the right thing, and I care only to be right in front of my Lord. What people judge me with, no problem. This is not, who care? So if I am... But I feel it's not, it's not easy for me, CP, you know. It's, oh, no, my friend, it's not easy for anyone. Who said it's easy? We're not talking about what's easy. We are talking about the right thing to do. So, 
are you going to do wrong for the rest of your life just because it is not easy aren't you if you believe that do you believe that god is exists yes i believe okay. i still so if, believe if you believe that god is exists then shouldn't you worry that if you are not following the true god you will go to hell and you are going in the wrong direction which one is more to worry you my mama will hate me or god will send me to hell we should think about our you know future our life is very short you see yesterday i was a kid today i'm a man tomorrow i'm dead that's this is simple and if you don't believe in this look at the generation before you all those who this earth used to be full of billions of people they die already they are they are dead and they are dust so it's just a matter of time and time goes so fast and then what you would do you will go with god who is fake and you say to the true god i was worried that my mom will hate me if your mom loves you she will love you it doesn't matter if you are a muslim or not but how i how can you believe jesus is god Very even easy. he never said he is God and who said, worship him. Who said, you know, a disciple of him, of Jesus said to him, why you don't show us the Father? And that's it. Do you know what Jesus said to him? Do you, do you know? No, I never read the Bible Which, and I don't know. Okay, well, Jesus said to him, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. Did Jesus say I'm God now or not? So the Father is God? The Father, or... yeah, we Christian when we pray, we call our God, yes. our Creator, we call Him the Father. Why the Father? Because we have a love for Him and He have love for us. And the God of the Quran, He created slaves. For us in Christianity, we are children of God. So we call Him Father, for He is our provider, not only Creator, and He loves us. He did not create us to abuse us and to use us. He created us based on love. So, uh, when 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 Muslim they say uh, that Jesus never said, you know, uh, I am God, they are lying because all the Bible is about that from the first verse to the last verse. And Jesus, in many places, he said to them that I am the one you are waiting for, the one you want to see. I am Him. Each time Jesus says I am, he is saying I am God. Because God, when he met Moses, they said to him, what I will tell my my followers, what I will tell, what's and your name? He said to him, I am who I am. That's his name. That has how he called himself. Then why God have to be human? He don't have to. Who said he have to? For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. So because he loved us, not because he have to. Do God need to create me? No. Do God need to create the earth? No. Do God need to make a cloud and water? No. We don't. Who said he need to? Who said he have to? He loved the world, so he come to us based on his love. So people in the time of Jesus, when they ask Jesus, why you don't show us the God, the Father? Show us. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the one and, and, and the Father is in me? So my friend, it's not about how God and why God, you know, God, he do not need, I'm talking about our God. He do not need the human, he do not need the angels, he do not need anyone. But God, he created us to share his glory with us. Because he loves us, not because he hates us. But do God need us? No. And for you already as a Muslim, you know, you should say, I'm out of Islam because obviously Islam is a stupid cult. Don't you agree with me? Yeah, but I'm afraid, you know. My family actually will, you know, hate. And I don't know if they hate me. I'm still afraid to live okay, my religion, you know. Uh, maybe you don't want to say life on air because you live in an Islamic country. 
you can text me in private in Skype later you know and don't worry I, 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 I feel I feel what you are saying I understand and I believe that's already you are out of Islam you know but uh, if you don't want to say life on air I understand that's not easy I, you know you're right but in, in for me I know already that you believe truly Islam is false that's why you say I'm afraid because you agree Islam is false you don't have to say it I understand already you did actually <coughs> correct mm. yeah well I'm, okay. not going, I'm not going to hold you then well I'm happy for you that you are out of Islam my friend and if did you, you did you tomorrow online I if don't know. you're tomorrow I don't know because you know uh, uh, I have 99 wives like Solomon uh, uh, and I have to make babies to make why you jihad. why you say that because this is what your prophet said that the guy there's a guy he want to make jihad he want to do jihad and then he have sex with all the women and supposedly in the morning they will have all of them babies but he forgot to say inshallah and then Allah give him half baby <laughs> so I don't is know. this in the Quran no this is in the hadith this is in the hadith Hadith. Yeah, in the Soviet Muhammad Hadith. So, uh, my friend, uh, listen, uh, uh, feel free to share with us in the chat. And anytime you feel like you want to accept Jesus, even if you want to talk to me in private, I will be happy to talk to you. I talk to many people in private. But remember, I don't come in Skype always. So you can, you know, but tell me in, in how, the chat here. How, how I can understand if Jesus is God and Islam my religion, my follower, is a false. You already agreed oh. it's false. Didn't you say that the Quran is wrong about the books? Didn't you say the Quran is wrong about beating the women? Didn't, everything you, you said, it's wrong. When I said to you, I went to the seven heaven, you said it's a lie. So you agreed already Islam is wrong. So how I can, if I want to be Christian, so how, what I must to do? Should I you do not need to do anything. Pray or yeah. go to you're church just, just in asked. Indonesia? First, or? first you, you, you denounce Islam, the devil. You denounce the devil that you don't you will not follow him. You will not follow any pagan cult like Islam. And you accept Jesus Christ as your savior and as your Lord. And you pray to him. Speak to him from your heart. There is no need to do certain rituals. There is no and when you are ready, read the Bible. When you are ready, you can go to any church and you can do it without telling people, you know, just in between you and the, and the, and the, and the minister in that church and get baptized. And that's it. I right? should hide this or huh? I should tell this to my parents, my family, you it's know? It's up to you. This is your business, what you do. But uh, you accept Jesus in your heart. You pray to Jesus. You reject Islam. You reject the devil. You reject, reject evil. And you follow Christ and he is your Lord. And you read the Bible, and when you are ready, you can go to church, and they can teach you more. And when you are ready, you get uh, baptism. Baptism is you starting your life with the Holy Spirit, so the Holy Spirit will bless your life. So what do you think? Do you like to accept Jesus as your Lord? Yes. I mean to that. I accept. Hallelujah. We are very happy for you, my friend. I'm happy for you from my heart. Everybody is going to pray for you. And, uh, you know, if you can tell me, or, uh, uh, maybe you don't want to share anything, but you need to find a church, who people who believe in the Father, the, the Son, the Holy Spirit, you know, one God, where are people who believe in one God, not in three gods. We don't believe in many gods, we believe in one God. So you need to find a church who believe in the Trinity, believe in salvation, so they can be taught the Bible and you can be baptized. And from now can, on, yeah, go ahead. Can I ask you something? Sure. What salvation in the Christianity, what a guarantee to go to heaven 
you know, like go to heaven. Well, Jesus what? said, whoever believe in me and I will live. Whoever believe in me and I will live. So salvation uh, is not only guarantee, it's confirmed. And actually already Jesus, he took with him to heaven uh, those who accepted him. As an example, the one who was next to him to the cross, in the cross, he said to him, today you will be with me in heaven. So salvation in Christianity is not maybe, it is for sure. Whoever believe in me, even though we are sinners, salvation actually is for the sinners, not for the one good ones. I mean, the good ones, they are saved, but there's no good ones anyway. You know, God, he sent his only begotten son because we need salvation, not because we are saved, because we are sinners. So salvation is not a question of yes or no in Christianity. If you are a believer and you are following Jesus from your heart and you try your best to fight your sin. See, now you became a Christian doesn't mean you are became a holy man. No, you are not. Still, you are, you are a sinner and you might do even sin. But a Christian person is someone who fight his sin and he try his best to stay away from it. So when you, when you do sin, sin is like, you know, you got a flu and you fight the flu, not you enjoy the flu. You got a virus, but you fight the virus, not you enjoy the virus. So as long you are following Christ and you are fighting your own sin, it's a process, it's a, it's a, it's a life process. You are with the Christ. But did Jesus is a true God, is he still love me or or not? Because well, you I, know, I just say to you that the Bible says, "For God, he loved." I followed the, the wrong. Yeah, for path. God, he loved the world. You know, God, he loved the world, not only you and me, all of us. So he sent Jesus to save us. So for he loved the world, he sent his only begotten Son. So you are, you are loved. You know, actually, he, Jesus, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. So you feel sick. Jesus came to you, especially for you. Because you are sick and we are sick, when you, we are full of sin. We, you know, we speak good, we do bad. All of us. We say things, we do the opposite. We claim decencies, but somewhere here there we do something not right so jesus he knew that we are sick and don't don't think that because you are sick or i am sick or he or she that make you rejected by him this is why he is here he is here to save the sick to heal you not to judge you and because you accept him as your savior now so now you have the hope that you are going to be saved by him so you have to continue your life process following Jesus. In the book of Acts it says, Neither there is salvation in any other, for there is none other name under the heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. There is no other name except Jesus to save you. I accept Jesus. I mean to that, my friend. So we confirm, and I, I confirm to you. I mean to that. In the book of Acts, chapter 16, it says that uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, and your household. But believing is to be a true believer, not a person who say something he don't mean. And I believe you are saying that from your heart, correct? Yes. Come into that. Do you want to say anything to people from Indonesia from your heart before we go? Even if I'm speaking your language, it's up to you. Uh, makasih semuanya yang udah doain. Ya, semoga bisa benar-benar jadi pengikut Yesus yang benar, yang baik. Ya. Yeah. Alright, my friend, I don't know what you said, 
But I pray that the Lord, He accept your, your words. And I pray that the Lord, He wash your heart. And the Lord, He will give you a new life with Him. And today, my friend, you are born again with Jesus. You have a new life and your name is written in heaven. You are no more a follower of the pagan Muhammad. You are no more a follower of the lies of this man. You are no more worshipper of sex of addiction. You are free. For Jesus, he set you free. The Lord, he said, I am the truth. And he ordered us to find the truth, to search for it. And when we find the truth, we find Jesus. And Jesus, when he find us after we find him, we are free with him. So I'm so happy for you. You will feel different. You will live different. Life and God is not about doing a ritual. God is about being a godly person. Jesus said, it's not what goes in your mouth make you clean or dirty, but what come out from your mouth. So my friend, let your mouth be the mouth for the Lord. And let us praise him for having you to us today calling us and I'm I'm grateful for the person who remind me actually to call you back uh, so we can have uh, your message delivered and your salvation today and we we pray to the Lord uh, to send more like you and to make you a fisherman so you can bring more Indonesian to Christ too not only you became saved thank you my friend thank you CP Take care. Thank you. God bless. Bye bye. Take care. Well, we are happy for our friend from Indonesia who left Islam. And, uh, you know, I believe that those who called us today, they helped this person to make the decision. The Muslims who called us today, they were very helpful. Because anyone who watched the callers, the Muslim callers, he will see how much they are terrified, how much they are trying to run away from the truth, how much they are horribly, horribly exposed. So Muslims callers are the best helpers to expose the cult of Muhammad. We show them in the screen. We show them the reference. They refuse to read it. They asked me for the reference, then we show the reference, they don't want to see it. They claim things, they don't give reference, they can approve what they say, for they knew that they are lying just to defend. And you ask yourself, what kind of religion? Based on lying to defend it. A person who believes in a true God, he will never lie. Even if his God, by the way, is fake, maybe. A true believer will not. If my belief, let's say somebody believe in a piece of uh, fabric, he believe it's God. If you ask him, do you believe in this? He will say yes. A Muslim, he don't do that because they are ashamed of their God. Why your prophet kissed the black stone? He said, I don't know. Why you kiss it? Because the prophet kissed it. Is it useless? He said, it's useless. He quote for me even the hadith of Omar saying that Omar said, I know that you are harmless or useless or you know useful. There's no use of you and there's no harm from you. Then Muhammad himself, he said, according to him, that Muhammad obviously was kissing it because it was for the direction. Since when you kiss something because of direction anyway? We ask him, what is the reference? You have no reference. Is the black stone going to be witness? He said yes. So how it is useless? If it's going to be witness, that make it useful. So how be a lie? This is how silly they are. They are low IQ. And I believe the devil, he made them this way. Following the devil, drain their IQ and made them look foolish. And we praise the Lord for their foolishness. Because the foolishness of this man, Muhammad, is the way for us to see the truth and for them to be saved. So it's not right maybe to say, praise the Lord for their foolishness, but it is absolutely right. For the foolish Satan, he always expose himself. What the Bible says and what the Lord he says, from their fruits you shall know them. 
He said, be aware of false teachers will come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So the foolish wolf, he changed his clothing, think that he is a smart. Because now he look like a sheep. But the Lord, he gave us the key. From their fruits, you shall know them. You can change your shape, you can change your clothing, you can change your uniform, but you cannot change your fruits. Garbage in, garbage out. And that is Islam. So I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like it. Don't forget to download my videos. They are for free for all of you. And if you like to support us, you can go to Patreon. And your support is always appreciated. Uh, soon we are going to publish a new book of mine. Actually, the same one of my books in Russian. Quran and Science Russian Translation. And again for free. And uh, the reason we make it for free, because not because I'm rich, absolutely I'm not. Everybody needs money, but it's more important to reach to millions around the world from making pennies or having a new car. It's way more important to save millions and millions. So we give it for free for the target is more important than a personal wish. Same time, we appreciate people who support us so we can keep going and doing best in what we do. And as you see, no Muslim can debate us for we have many things coming together. We have Jesus in our side. We have knowledge and the truth. And we know the false devil book very well. All those together made an extreme powerful weapon against the devil, against evil. So I pray that all of you are learning and the knowledge I'm sharing with you will not stay with me because sooner or later I will die and somebody else have to carry on. And I wish that all of you will carry on the message and the knowledge and you share what you learned today. Download the videos, take notes. We always post links, save reference, read my books, and be ready, be vigilant. For Satan, he changed his form. He will come with a new religion sooner or later. It's not only about Islam, there's many cults. Always you have to be vigilant, and always to be you have to be Christian, and Christian is not about being Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox. Christian is about somebody believing in Jesus as Savior. Christian is not someone who follow a priest, for all men are sinners. A Christian is someone who follow Christ, for he is the only one without sin. A Christian person is someone, he don't take a role model for him, a man. He take Jesus. You follow me, you are a fool. You follow Jesus, my friend. Never follow a sinner. If he was so good, he would not be a sinner anyway. So we have one master, we have one Lord, we have one teacher, we have one truth. That is a Christ. And by his name, I leave you in peace. And by his name, I pray for your health and your wealth and your family. Thank you. God bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it always. Take care. Bye-bye.